Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of the Kazooie Banjo Show. We're starting on the menu here today where we have beat now the first game, working on the second game. However, we must return to Banjo-Kazooie to do some things today and hope you all enjoy seeing that. I know I'm excited. Finally, after like, what, 25 years being able to experience Stop and Swap as it was meant to be? Craziness. But again, hello Brady, Christian, welcome. Hope you're both having excellent nights. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully the volume levels sound good. Let me know should there be any issues. I think when I watched uh, back the Banjo-Tooie last part, the sound effects seemed a bit loud compared to the music. So you know, there's all options you can use to change stuff like that these days. So maybe we'll change that a bit once we get in there. But as always, chat, please let me know how things sound. You're certainly going to have a, a better ear on that than I do. What did you miss, Daniel? We beat the whole game. It's done. We're actually going to be playing Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013 today. And if we have enough time afterwards, Call of Duty Black Ops all the way. Who needs this rareware trash? But Blue Hedgehog Man, welcome. Hope you're having a great night. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting started in just a second here. So stop and swap, finally. Again, all those years too, after I made that video about it, used to have to be, you'd like enter, uh, you know, codes that you found on the internet. It's weird that they have those codes in there, despite the fact, I mean, I guess what, what was probably originally going to happen was like, maybe you would find the codes in Banjo-Tooie, enter them in Banjo-Kazooie, and then do the swap. So maybe that was their intention all along. Still very strange. But yeah, with that, again, this, uh, yo, Banjo-Kazooie beta footage. I guess we might as well boot up the game here. So let's do that. You played this game on the N64 original. Normally there'd be like the big N walking out for the, the uh, Nintendo 64 and it's so weird seeing the things that they have to like remove and stuff because of uh, it no longer being associated with Nintendo. I think on the Switch version though it still shows the Nintendo 64. But, uh, but yeah, I've played the N64 version many times, but it's been really fun experiencing what it's like in HD on the Xbox. With the exception of when your game glitches and you can't get all the notes, so you have to rebeat the whole thing. But even then, we still had fun. I could play Banjo-Kazooie all day long. So yeah, once again, booting up this game. And I didn't check to make sure this actually works. Um, from everything I've heard, unless I've been lied to on the internet, because, you know, sometimes that happens, uh... All of the stop and swap stuff should be unlocked now. I didn't want to check that out uh, personally off stream in case there was like a special message or a cutscene or something. I wanted to make sure that you all got to see that too. So we might be doing the stop and swap stuff tonight, but I guess uh, again, maybe not. I like how you can also see the, the cooking banjo off to the right because of the widescreen. Normally you can't see them both at the same time, I don't think. Uh, am I going to play the GBA game after Nuts and Bolts? Very well could. I mean, it's, it's absolutely a possibility. Um, ukulele 1 and 2 also very much on the table afterwards. So we'll see how we're feeling. <laughs> if we want uh, you know, more collect-a-thons by the time we're done with all this. But okay. Play game. So remember, this is not our file. That is the glitched file stuck at 696 there. And here we go. Oh, we got the special spring chair thing. So, there's been no message whatsoever that any of the stop and swap stuff has uh, has been unlocked. Of course, the best thing to do is go to uh, Treasure Trove Cove. And we'll get to see if that island has risen from the ocean. That'll be the quickest way to tell if anything has changed here. But again, from everything I've heard, if you have even Nuts and Bolts, so it's Nuts and Bolts or Banjo-Tooie save data on your hard drive, apparently the stop and swap stuff becomes available. You would think there'd be a message or something to indicate that. And if it's not unlocked, I'm going to be kind of scared because I don't know. <laughs> you know. Hopefully it's not like another thing that's been soft locked out of existence. But let's have a look at that island. Ah, see, that, like it didn't even give us a message or anything. That's weird. Do I ever use the second profile? Um, oh, oh sec like second file on uh, on Banjo Kazooie. No, we never did the cooking one. If I want to replay it someday, I might use it though. It's not a track me. You can't feel your feet. That it says Brady. Well, hopefully you had a, had a good one. 
Silver Surfer was crazy, huh? I am shocked it went as well as it did. And that's a game where I was worried, you know, because there's no rapid fire. You know, the longer you play a game like that, the more worn out you get. So I was like, if this is going to go late into the night, I don't know if I'm ever going to do it. But the fact that we were able to wrap it up relatively quick was, uh, was very beneficial. But all right, everyone, this is what you've been waiting for. Here you go. Never supposed to be in here legit unless you've looked up the, the cheat codes like a big cheater. I, I I purposely did like a whole loop around the things I wanted to see it. But yeah, here's the jump pad. And so this is one of the things that you get shown in the postcards or the photographs at the end of the Banjo-Kazooie 1 credits there. Except in the Xbox version, it was like really broken and uh, it didn't play correctly. But as a kid, oh my gosh, seeing this, it'd be like, oh, I want to go in there so bad. And then, uh, you know, there never actually being like an official way to access it until, again, you go on like Cheat Code Central or whatever on your grandparents' computer on Windows Millennium Edition and find out about the, these codes. But here we go, everyone. Take a good look. You're never going to see this again. And there you have it. We're just going to kind of kind of stay on that for a second. Uh, let me see. <laughs> No, I don't use the turbo controllers. I, I love, like, just the base NES controller. And I could never imagine using anything else. But for all the NES games I've beat, no, it's always just been that that basic controller. With an extension cord. <laughs> With a six-foot extension. Oh, the controller's rumbling. Is there, they're beating each other up. A money pile of poo cave. <laughs> it did kind of look like that, didn't it? And maybe a desktop or whatever you call it on Xbox. Hello, YS Bunny. Welcome. Hope you're having a great night. Watch it over on Twitch. Very cool. So yeah, here's the egg, everyone. Here's the giant egg. It's very shiny. It's uh, it's always had like a really nice texture to it. Let's, it's got like a nice view of it. So yeah, this is one of six question mark eggs in Banjo Kazooie One, and uh, I'm guessing once we collect these, we'll be able to take them over to Banjo Tooie, and I'm very curious what they're going to unlock. But uh, Billy Hat turned the giant egg. Did you see? Ooh, an egg. That's one of the seven stop. Well, there's seven stop and swap items. Oh, okay. Well, yes, there's also the key. And my nuts and bolts adventure. He just knows it's coming, whether you like it or not. There you go, everyone. Our first stop and swap item of the day. So again, um, you know, there's that indication. There's the, there's the photos that we saw in the credits that show like two or three of the locations of stuff. Uh, but, you know, it never shows where the other ones are, so you just have to know. And thankfully, you're uh, you're on the right stream, because I do indeed know. But, uh, yeah, why is funny? Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, I love it. Absolutely awesome GameCube game. And I don't know if anyone saw, but for Easter, Sega's Twitter, whatever you call it, page, posted Billy Hatcher art saying Happy Easter. So it's like, whoa, Billy Hatcher sequel confirmed. Or a remake or something. But honestly, Sega scares me now with their remakes. I did not like the uh, the Super Monkey Ball 1-2, what was it, Banana Mania remake? Where, like, they literally make you buy DLC if you want the original soundtrack? Like, what the heck was that? Who thought that was okay? Like, of course I want the original, like, you know, mu music or, like, you know, remixes of it. If I'm playing a, re a remake of an older game. Like, that makes zero sense. So, uh, yeah, Sega's kind of scaring me these days. I don't know if I trust them. But GG, finally. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. You meant putting a message on Xbox? Yeah, 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 that's right. They could have put something, right? To make it a little more clear. But uh, they really did absolutely nothing. So it's like, if you don't know what Stop and Swap is, <laughs> you're never collecting this stuff. I mean, the ideal thing, I guess, is like, if you've played Nuts and Bolts already, and then you play this, like, you would just naturally find these items during the adventure, right? Uh, where we specifically went out of our way to, like, come back and do this afterwards. Because I think Nuts and Bolts came out before they re-released Banjo 1 and 2 on Xbox Live Arcade, right? So it's very possible that many people would have had such an experience. Where, like, they had the Nuts and Bolts save file, and then they played this, so the stuff was just kind of unlocked already. But yeah, still a very weird way that they went about it. But, uh, again, we know what we're doing here. So the second egg, another famous one, because there's that door you very clearly get to see. Over on this kind of cave here. That is normally closed, and it looks like it's nice and open for us right now. Yeah. 
And again, this is just like, oh, you know, the second you finally get to come in here after seeing that ending so much. And I was always like, oh, is there anything to the left and right even? Maybe something hit around the corner here, but nope, there's nothing. Can we like even have a look behind? Like who, who has ever actually taken the time to look back here? You are the first people to ever see all of these beautiful textures. Like, did you know there was like an arch thing that connected to this circle thing on the ceiling? I bet you didn't. That's why we're the best here. We show you all the things that no other channel does, but all right, mash this button. And there you go, another one of the eggs. Which I don't know why I'm doing it. I, I like having a look at the eggs. Like, these are just such cool looking things that you gotta get like a nice, nice view of them there. You excited to play Billy Hatch when you get to it, Max Howard? I'm sure you'll enjoy it, it's very fun. Pokemon did it for free, but you need to beat the game for it. There we go. We need a comment about this one too, yes we are. Another one of those special stop and swap eggs. Hope this isn't a cruel joke and we can actually use them. So this is definitely different text from when you get them in the original game. I love that they're poking fun at the fact that again, it took like how many years before they actually finally had a use. But again, I'm so happy that uh, you know, I'm being able to share this with all of you because yeah, I'm assuming most of you probably haven't seen this either. Whoever talks about playing the HD banjos. It's normally the 64 when people play, including myself, but this has been a real treat. Uh, no regrets, even though, as mentioned, I paid like $15 each for these games. When if I had an Xbox One, I could have just paid like five bucks for Rare Replay. But these games are worth it, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, that's two of the items down. I guess next up we're doing Freeze Easy Peak. Getting that ice key. And don't forget, we already picked up all the stop and swap stuff that was available in banjo Tui, which now that I think about it, let's boot up the old option menu here. And if we go all the way to the right now, there you go. So it even kind of shows, you know, the stop and swap stuff that's available. Uh, different than the 64 one, where I don't think it shows like the, uh, the, you know, the faded out versions before you collect them. They just kind of get added as you do. Oh, and there's no stop and swap two page in this game. Gotcha. Lisa, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should have uh, should have played on Easter, says Daniel. Um, you should buy banjo on Xbox at PC. Yeah, like uh, I don't. That'd be uh, interesting if you could play them on the PC for sure for some sort of Microsoft service. And the other thing I wanted to check is in Banjo Tooie, we noticed that you could go in here, I think, and you could like um, you know look at a list of all the jiggies. That seems to be a Tui exclusive feature, which makes sense because the levels in Banjo Tooie are just so freaking massive. That's it. You know, a little checklist on which uh, you know jiggies you haven't picked up is kind of nice, but it looks like they did not do the same for the first game, which is fine. It's like not that bad in here. But Banjo Time says Block Frog, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great night. Uh, you'll notice we're playing Banjo the first again. Did I? I thought I did open this. Okay, yeah, it is open. It was the original file where I glitched through the top, and then the next time I tried it, it wasn't working. But again, it's funny how you put those two playthroughs together and you get like the complete breakfast. Um, where in one of them, you know, different things happened and such. We picked up one Mumbo token in Mad Monster Mansion and one playthrough, and then one in the other. Funny times. But yeah, next thing we're picking up is in good old Freeze Easy Peak here. And probably the most uh, iconic stop and swap item of them all. Who didn't want to grab that gigantic ice key? And the funny thing about this ice key is I guess they're gonna find some use for it uh, you know, in either Banjo 2 or Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in this case. But I think people looked inside the Donkey Kong 64 ROM and ice key was listed as an item in there. So it's possible that you know there was even gonna be stop and swap with DK64. It was like a planned thing at one time, and maybe that's where the ice key would have gone to. Where it makes sense that, you know, the eggs would go to Tui, and then the key would go to Donkey Kong. But yeah, unfortunately, you know, obviously that, that never happened. And we'll just gotta see what they do now, but there's the ice key, everybody! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But Max Howard, things are going well. I was so happy last night after we kicked uh, Silver Surfer's butt. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just kind of, you know, wrapped up the stream and I was like, wow. This feels really wrong being, you know, everything wrapped up into a nice package so early tonight. But I can't complain. Hope everyone else is doing great. 
I said about the about the mumbo thing. Nice. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. We're not supposed to talk about that. I got uh, diplomatic immunity or whatever. But okay. Uh, yeah. There you go. It's beautiful. It, it's pretty huge too. Like I love it. And again, no one's probably ever looked behind here before. Now we can confirm that there's no like secret DK barrel back there. But okay. You ready? Just disappears. No like thing or anything. An enormous ice key! We should keep this stop and swap I Oh no! No! No, you stupid idiot! You wrecked my freaking stop and swap text! I hate you! <laughs> Ugh! But okay, well, that was fun while it lasted. Let's head out here then and <laughs> go to a different level. What a freaking dork! That should never be possible. Stinky seal. <laughs> really? That was... I wanted to hear what Kazooie had to say about the ice key. Well, looks like we'll have to delete all the save data and play it again. So here's the thing about stop and swap items. Is that they're only collectible once. And this is uh, this is true in the uh, 64 version as well. They're collectible once per game pack. Not per file. So even if you go to a different file now in Banjo-Kazooie, the items will be gone. So you will never know how that sentence concludes now, ever. Unless I guess I delete like, you know, all of my Banjo-Kazooie 1 and maybe even 2e save data. Like it's madness, honestly. But where are we headed now? I think uh, you got Mad Monster Mansion. Okay, so we'll do Mad Monster next. Yeah, okay, yeah, Mad Monster next. Got a couple in there to go grab. I am the walrus, goo goo goo. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Um, time to find the hacked Xboxes, Daniel. Heck yeah. All right, we're in the, the spooky lava room now. What people say was like, uh, you know, originally intended for a lava level, which would not appear in this game, but may have uh, inspired a level in the sequel, which we will come across it someday. And yeah, back to this level again, Mad Monster Mansion. Just because we have not spent enough time here. So it's interesting that, like, is my clock still running? Even though we've, uh, we've gotten everything? Because how does that affect the leaderboards then? Like, does playing this file reduce my time on all of the leaderboards? Or, you know, does it acknowledge the fact that, you know, it shouldn't uh, change from when we actually collected everything? Nobody will ever know. All right, so which one is it? I don't think it's this one. Oh, it is this one. So this is weird. To this point, all of... And before something happens where this guy gets in our way, right in the middle of my epic speech here, you know, all of the stop and swap items have been in special rooms, you know, places that open up once the stop and swap conditions have been met. But this one is just so arbitrary. It's just in the bathroom on top of Lago. It's like, why? Why was zero effort put in to hiding this egg? It's, uh, it's always really bothered me. And we'll see that for a couple of the other eggs as well. But like, I don't know if they just ran out of time or they realized this feature wasn't going to get used anyway. So you kind of shove it up there. Oh, we don't get even a comment for getting that one. That's how kind of much of an afterthought it was. But yeah, see, there's the green one. And compare that to the aqua one we're about to pick up. You may remember down in ye old cellar here, there was one barrel we could not open. But it is now open. And inside, we get to see that. Can you, like, not destroy me, please? All right. You made me do it. Yeah, this is normally like an X barrel that just doesn't open. But with the power of stop and swap, we can now go in there and get the egg. <laughs> oh no! Paul McCartney. It's crazy. But okie dokie, it's aqua egg time. And again, this is like another just cool room. So unlike the zero effort uh, Lago one. Again, you know, this one's kind of like in its own thing. That otherwise you never get to access. And here we go. And uh, you know these uh, these music tracks as well. 
are like completely unused if you don't do the stop and swap stuff. There you go, four down, two to go. So yeah, two of them at Mad Monster Mansion. Again, it's so weird uh, how the Lago one just feels like such an afterthought, uh, you know, st uh, stuck in the bathroom for some reason. I would love to hear the story of that. Now overall, it, it looks like Rare has been pretty open about the development of many of their games, like how Project Dream worked and stuff. I had a video recommended to me recently, like from Rareware's official channel. Where they, they talk about some old stuff. You know, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie development. And uh, I had no idea they had even uploaded that, which is pretty cool. We are going the wrong way. You can cheat the eggs and key into the original game. So yeah, you're talking about the codes on the floor, absolutely. And it's my theory that the way it would have worked, or the way they had originally planned on Stop and Swap working is somehow in, in Banjo-Tooie you get given the codes, which you're then expected to come back and enter in the first game, and then, you know, the, the Stop and Swap method would be used to transfer them back. But then since that never happened, you know, the codes never ended up in the second game. And we all have to find about them online later. And, uh, you know, they would forever be useless and stuck on the Banjo-Kazooie cart. So, where am I going now? We are going up here again two more items to get and then we can finally move on to the game we are actually here to play banjo the second so next one hidden inside rusty bucket bay so you can't do your super fast swimming in this game by holding a and b or a and x which is interesting and we can head up here into Rusty Bucket Bay. So, unfortunately, this is another one that's like, there's just, uh, you know, no thought put into this whatsoever. And it's just kind of stuck in a random room. Now, which room it's in, I don't remember. I don't remember which window we have to break to get into that room. They were nice, though, and didn't place it at, like, uh, the end of the engine room, so we don't have to play that again. I think it was uh, a room relatively close to the start, though. It's possible it's on the other side here. Yeah, I feel like the camera's a lot nicer in Banjo 1 compared to when I'm trying to use it in Banjo 2 -y. No, not this room. Because uh, L and R also end up getting used to switch eggs, I think it, uh, it interferes with how they're so nicely used for the camera in this game. But hopefully we can work around that. Alright, which window is it? Is it this one? So yeah, this is a really weird egg. It's like, why is it just placed on top of the bed? As a kid, I always thought that this looked like a door, right? So it's like, why wouldn't they make that open up and put something behind there instead of just kind of sticking it on the bed, right? Stop and Swap didn't happen because Nintendo ruined it. Well, their original idea was Nintendo, uh, the N64 holds on to like a little bit of RAM after it turned off, right? I think it used to hold on to it for about 30 seconds before it cleared. Where later models of the N64, that was reduced to like a matter of milliseconds. So it was unfeasible to use that in the way that Rare had intended. So I don't think Nintendo wrecked it intentionally. I think it's just a matter of the Nintendo 64 being revised made the feature unpractical. But yeah, there's the, there's the red one just on top of a bed for some reason. There you go. And that leaves one more before we can go back to the game we're all here to play. And again, the first thing we're going to do in that game is go exchange all of our stop and swap prizes for... Again, I have no idea actually what we're going to get from this, so it's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, that was almost a disaster. And for the last item, we are heading to Click Clock Wood. Which season is it in? That's the question. I think it's spring. Hopefully it's spring. Uh, why is Bunny? The plan is to play Nuts and Bolts after uh, Banjo-Tooie. That's correct. Alright, up here. 
Actually, did I even need to do that? I just want to go in this door, right? Like, maybe I didn't actually have to do that at all. We'll raise the water anyway, just in case. No, I could have just climbed up those stairs. Oh, well. Now we can just kind of go, like, around here. And there you go. Let me get all of these. Can you get by these? I usually use the gold feathers just for fun. But okay, we're actually doing a pretty decent job of not getting hit. Oh, there you go. All of our health gone. And with the red health, you can just tank everything. Interesting that the clock is still running, even in this room. Can I get the, into the level? Like, will it still go if I go in the click clock wood? That's kind of interesting. No, the clock has now disappeared, but uh, wow. Pretty strange. The expansion pack only came out so they could collect as many booster packs as they could. The resulting research created the GameCube. But okay, let's see here. Should I just turn into the bee and we can fly up there? Should I climb back up there as Banjo? I like how that guy just gave up. He like finally caught up to us. He's like, nah, not worth it. And I always like how it has to show that cutscene the first time you defeat one of those guys. After entering the level, <laughs> you must watch this enemy suffer. It is a requirement. But otherwise, yeah, we've seen enough click clock wood. Uh, I don't need to explain what's going on here anymore. Hopefully we can pretty effortlessly get up there. There's no flying pad in any other season but, uh, but winter. So you kind of got to do all the climbing work yourself. Again, unless we turn into the bee. And the bee shouldn't have any problem collecting the egg, but we want to collect them all as banjo. We collected the rest of them as banjo. So might as well do this one too. And just a couple scary jumps across some floating bridges. And we should be there. Beautiful camera angle. And again, according, assuming I'm correct, it should be in here. No! It's not spring! Oh no! I forgot which season it's in. <laughs> Let's see, uh, just like how every time you click the- Oh my gosh, in Twilight Princess. And like, 95% of the treasure chests in that game are just 100 rupees, and you can only hold, I think, up to a thousand. And the first time I ever played through that game, I didn't get the, um... Okay, I tried to do like a float, but uh, he started doing a, a, a you know, twirl in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened, but now you know what it looks like for Banjo to jump from the near top of the tree. But yeah, Twilight Princess is weird like that. I'm not sure why they thought that was a good idea. It's not winter, is it? Is it when he's sleeping in winter? Maybe it is winter, and that's the one we can check the easiest. So before I climb the tree like seven more times, maybe we'll go right to winter. Again, if you want to fall from a high height, you can use gold feathers to, to not take damage. There's that one up under there that we never got because it's like super risky for no good reason. But yeah, here's that flying pad I was talking about. And I think it is winter. I think it's when he's sleeping. You like jump on his bed or something. Again, if there was like, you know, cutscenes actually showing us where the items were hidden. Then we wouldn't have this issue. So it is in here. Now, see, what would have been cool is if, like, you couldn't come into his house during the winter unless you did the cheat and then the door opened or something. But the fact you can just come in here anyway with the window kind of makes this room not as special. But yeah, that's another one. They just kind of dumped it on Nabbit's table for some reason while he's sleeping. And we're here to take it all for ourselves. And that's every item! Oh, we're gonna get a comment about that, it looks like. Oh, stop and swap items! Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. No! What about Banjo-Tooie? They really wanted you to buy Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And actually, I saw there was a gold feather in there, just to get 20 of them. And with that, we'll exit the level the normal way. Just in case the game, for whatever reason, doesn't like us uh, quitting otherwise. Well, if we didn't have the red health, that would be a pretty scary situation. But okay, with that, Tui time. 
Yellow egg, <laughs> says Big Phil. Welcome. Twilight Princess is very obnoxious with rupees, and the cutscene thing happens every single time you start the game. Yep, yep. I remember that well. Which is, like, just so strange. Like, why would they do that? Okay, so... Let's quit. Actually, before we quit, might as well view this. That's a nice complete stop and swap screen. <laughs> it looped back down around from the bottom. Yes, we are sure. And yeah, when you uh, select the game over here. Oh, be so because we've saved Tootie, if you go to quit, it doesn't show the, the Gruntilda 2D beauty thing anymore. Very funny. And there you go, you've got like a nice convenient option for us to go back to the game menu. Why was the yellow egg spinning so much faster? Yeah, so on that uh, view total screen, I think it's just random the speed. Like I think if we go back to that screen, um, different ones would be at different speeds. It's very weird. So again, despite the fact it's pressuring us into playing Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, we should be able to do some stuff in Banjo-Tooie as well, so here we go. But yeah, hope you're all having an excellent night. Hope you enjoyed seeing that stop and swap stuff. Um, I always enjoy collecting those. Um, you know, it's just, it's just so neat. Just such a cool feature. Rareware really had some great ideas back in the day. Uh, too bad, you know, this one didn't quite come to fruition in the way they thought it would, but... Still fun to go grab that stuff. Oh, gotta do the thing here. And we're gonna play that game. Three hours, 21 jiggies. Oh, look at that! There was even a symbol on the save file that said like stop and swap or something like that. And if we go to the view totals here, Like, is it uh, under here or is it under objects and items? Yeah, okay, it's under objects and items. There you go! So that's all that stuff. And for stop and swap 2, we got that. So with that, let's go back to Heggy the Hen or whoever that was and see what we can do there. Okay, okay, so what's this what's gonna happen? I'm really excited. Do you want Hagi to hatch the egg? I mean we have like six of them. Hagi special egg. Okay. You see something we don't. It's 10 years old. Ah, I get it. Block frog. I'm afraid these rewards will be lame. We waited how many years to finally see this? And it's going to be like... Ugh. Oh my god. We have to watch this cutscene every single time. Here we go. 20G for that. Gamer pick. <laughs> oh no. I, I I like it. Amazing. And I thought eggs had prints in them. Oh, there you go. So now you know what it would have uh, done on your Nintendo 64. You would have unlocked a N64 gamer pick back in the day. So clearly that was not like what that originally would have done. Um, so now, you know, it, it leads to even more questions about like what might it be. I like how it didn't even show us what the gamer pick was. So how am I supposed to know? Which one I actually unlocked if I go look at them all. But okay. Is it going to be more gamer picks? Probably.
And there she goes. So, alright, what's that? That was the yellow one. Now we do the red one. Special Haggy Egg Awards, Banjo Kazooie, the theme! <laughs> it really is all just stuff. Oh, and Bird Dash. At least they managed to fit us in around all those boxes. What? Oh, wait, do I have to, like select to, to save it somewhere? Oh, it's installing something? Uh oh, my Xbox 360 is gonna get ransomware. This is so weird. Yes. Okay, <laughs> round three. All right, we've got a gamer pick, a theme apparently. We have to. <laughs> no chance. Rare have plans for us yet. <laughs> You got a cool theme on your Xbox. Yeah, well, well I guess we'll, we'll probably go check those out at some point. I'm gonna grab my thing over here while he's doing that. All right, what do we got here? Special Hey Yeg Award, homing egg. So this is a nice one. This is actually like relevant to the game. And this is normally something you could have unlocked. Oh, besides, we have to enter this. Enter homing. Uh, so that's normally unlockable through the eggs that you can find in like Spiral Mountain and such in the in the original game. So we have to remember to go enter that. Because that eggs that kind of home in on enemies are quite nice. What's up, Ma KCC? Welcome. We're hatching all that stop and swap stuff. Three down, three to go. Gotta put the Xbox 360 on the big wire for a 10 gig update. <laughs> yeah, we're hooked up through Ethernet right now, so it's a good time for that. All right, what's the dark blue one got? We got Briegel Bash. Okay, I know this one. Yeah, so this is another one that was in the original game. So funny. So see, now we can press XX to do that. All right. Very violent. This is what all kids wanted from their games back in the day. Who thought that stop and swap would come to this? Uh, be machines next. Oh no, it's a reference to, to nuts and bolts. All right, I think this is the last one. Conker's fine. Um, not as much as Banjo-Kazooie, of course. How about that Game Boy Color Conker game when he was, like, happy and friendly? Alright. Special Hagi Egg Award. Jinjo as multiplayer character. Yeah! <laughs> Who is Jinjo? Is that it? Do you want Higgy to hatch the... Oh, do I have more? Was there one more? Oh, last day. Okay, here we go. Tired now. <laughs> How do you think I feel carrying them for 10 years? <laughs> All right, there you go. Hello, Lisa. Yeah, we're last uh, stop and swap egg. And then we're going to enter that cheat code. And then it'll be witchy world time. It's cool that once you are hip to <laughs> the entire Beals library, true seed. Why is Bunny? We gotta play Grunchy's Revenge first. Oh. My. Cluck. Very special Heggy Egg Award. What's it gonna be? Like, 10 Microsoft points. This might be useful one day. At least that means we'll get to see our 20th birthdays. <laughs> Surely Rare will make the next game faster than that. So, I guess that, um, 
that's used in nuts and bolts then? That's what that's supposed to be referring to? There are special eggs all hatched, so if we go to the pause menu now, do totals, objects and items. So it shows the ice key down there. All the eggs have check marks on them now. Key spinning very quickly. And we got all of that. We got a big swearing sign. So I think all of this goes into uh, nuts and bolts when we get there. And there you go. That's stop and swap. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. Again, you know, you have to be curious what uh, all of those eggs might have unlocked in the original game. Obviously, the gamer picking the theme are kind of, you know, not uh, what you probably would have unlocked on the Nintendo 64. Now, you know, the fact that they had six different eggs to transfer over, that's a lot of eggs. Like, they must have had some really big plans for all the stuff you would have got. Is it best to use a pad for that? Yeah, okay, so you, yeah, you use the pad, and we go to Wumba. But yeah, about Grunty's Revenge before Nuts and Bolts, chronologically, I think you're correct, but also, I mean, it, it feels kind of right to play all three 3D platforming games in a row, right? Like, I don't think, um... Grunty, like, the Grunty's Revenge is that out of place if you play it after, is it? We will have to discuss that further. But what what word was I entering here? How do I shoot? How do you shoot? There we go. Joe. Oh, just shoot! Again, it's so much easier to aim with, um... The 64 stick. There you go. You can see so many words in this puzzle. How much you will make eggs home in on baddies? And that's good sometimes, but also not so good. Because there will be times when, like, you don't want to home in. Or like, uh, you know, you're trying to shoot something and the egg will instead try to homing on an enemy or something. But okay, here we go. Very nice. And see, that's cheat number 12. There's a lot of cheats in this game. I don't think that you find them all within the game, though. However, when we get to the next level, there will be a discussion that we have about cheat codes. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably also collect enough... Cheeto pages tonight to unlock the next Cheeto cheat, which would be nice. Hello, Babs, with the uh, with the emojis there. Hope you're having a great night. And with that, Witchy World time. You have to uh, Crunchy's Revenge and the Banjo Racing one from well around 2010. Yeah! That's like the last time we really saw much about Banjo. So here you go. We got, uh, oh, that's right, right, the controls are different now, all of a sudden, in the second game. So the Flume of Doom is out of order. And take out this guy. So we got the, a door down here. But it is actually covered up by a rock, so we can't get in there quite yet. But there is some notes down here for us to grab. Is that it? Yeah, we need to learn a move before we can break that. So you can't just do whatever you want on the overworld here. There are some times where you gotta go into the levels and actually learn moves before you're allowed to proceed. I think we need more grenade eggs. Let's try and get a few more of those. I think we can only max at 25 right now, so that looks pretty good. And one last, last thing before we go into Witchy World. Is I think we can go into this Wumba tent here. Oh, we got max of everything. Cool. Kazooie Rock says, why is funny? Yeah, who put his head on that thing? Or her head on that thing? Very special spell, but need legendary Mega Globo. You bet there's only one of those. 
But uh, it's funny enough, this actually relates to the stop and swap stuff that we just did. But uh, it's not something we can do quite yet. So we will come back to that at the appropriate time. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything to do in here. I don't think they hit anything in the rafters on this one. So it's witchy world time. Also, get all these signs out here. Do they say anything of any interest whatsoever? I don't know if I've ever read them. Management accepts no responsibility for the thieving pickpockets. An employee is within Witchy World. So, the funny thing is, like, we had to solve that puzzle to blast this gate open. And yet, it's going to be very clear that, you know, there's other characters in there, so... The Witchy World fan club? Current member is zero. Witchy World, the theme park is currently closed due to an appalling safety record. Here we go. So this is the point of the game. Where the first two levels weren't that big or convoluted. I have no idea how it's going to go from here. I always remember Witchy World being pretty overwhelming, but then it's been a long time since I've really kind of tried to get everything in it. So we'll see. Yeah, so we had the good old Miss Boggy here. After meeting her husband at Freeze Easy Peak in the first game. A little older, a little fatter. We're getting up sled racing though. We're watching his new widescreen TV all day. I'm sure we'll never meet him at any point. So again, this is what I'm talking about. Despite the fact that Witchy World was supposed to be closed, clearly some people were in here. But we gotta go get her kids and bring them back. Do I need blue eggs? No. Yeah, we're really well for doing really well for eggs then. So here we go, working our way through Witchy World. Just like usual, I have no strategy for where we should go or when. There are some food stands around though. You gotta find the switches to open those guys up so we can go talk to them. Over here. Like, can you open this fence? No. <laughs> well, not that way anyway. Thought there was a way to open that gate. Oh, we got a question mark. So, we've seen the exclamation mark ones that go in order, but the question mark ones jump around. And you gotta kind of get lucky with those. We also get these slot machines here. And we're gonna want to blow these guys up because they drop something that we need. And hey, look who that is! Character from the first Banjo-Kazooie. So once again, kind of got our notes all laid out in a nice circle here, so we might as well collect those. Again, grenade eggs are the best thing ever invented. So just, uh, you know, get those and defeat everything in one hit. It's got a fry stand here and the switch is conveniently hidden directly behind it. Evil health pickup uh, pick wise bunny, yes. How is Kazooie able to carry Banjo, David Ray? We don't ask questions like that uh, in this game, for sure. I have no order, weirdos. I'm a busy guy. <laughs> salty Joe's limp salty fries. All right, let's do some of that. Have a nice day, I guess. I knew he would say that. I'm gonna start finding up some more. And I'm all out. So is the park closed or not? Like, I'm so confused. What has this got to say? Salty Joe's Fries! The taste-free, greasy alternative to a decent meal. There you go. And speaking of which, I think if we go up here, we should have one of our moves of the level. 
Only need 160 notes for that one, but we got 280. Well, oh, that's true. Uh, that's true, Christian. Here I am talking about how great grenade eggs are, but put those aside. We got the ability to split up our partners now. And this becomes a frequent gimmick of the game. Where there will be things that you can only do if you're either only Banjo or only Kazooie, but not when you're both of them. And that's uh, these pads here, we can do that with, but... And from these pads you can also change like who you're playing as. When they're alone, you have less health than when they're together, which is always very annoying. Like, see right now we only have like five. And Kazooie has three. I thought he just filled our health back up to full, though. So why would they be missing some? Now we have full. That's very strange. And we got this guy. But yeah, Christian. Yeah, that's right. Grenade eggs for that fence. We're looping around here, so we'll be doing that momentarily. But we got to speak about this thing. So I said that we were going to have another conversation about cheats coming up. This tent... I guess we should read the sign first. Do people like when I read the signs, or is it just like, ah, boring literature? Madam Grunty. However, we are counteractually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides. So yeah, we got Gruntilda telling our fortune in here. You win some gold feathers. So... Going in here, she can give you items, she can give you health, she can also beat you up and take away a health point. But most interestingly, and I'll say that after this one, you in a beating, so, <laughs> so this is a, a fairly common occurrence. So why would we keep going in here? Like, okay, you, know, you can go pick up feathers anywhere. You can go, you know, get health, you can go get beat up by an enemy somewhere else. There is, from what I've read, I mean, in terms of the percentages, I know it's a fact that you can do it. I've read it, it's a one, it's a one in 500 chance that she will give you a cheat code for that, uh, for the code chamber to enter. And the only way to get that code is to go in there until she gives it to you. And I don't believe you can enter it otherwise. So that's it. If you want to get all the stuff, you got to keep going in and out of that tent, taking beatings, sometimes getting items, until you get that 1 in 500 chance of getting that cheat code. And it's not even like the world's best cheat code or anything like that. But uh, we, we want it, right? So we're going to keep doing that until we get it. And pray it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Welcome, Boomer Bear. Hope you're having a great night. All right, Daniel. Yeah, happy to hear people like the signs. Salty noodles, David Ray. No, it's good old snotty cheeseburger. Block Frog, it's funny that Grunty is just in the tent. I love it. It's like, it's like, yeah, you know, just take a break, get your fortune told. What's the code, Block Frog, right? So I'm not going to say anything more about that. We'll unlock it when we unlock it. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's interesting that there, there is actually reason to go in there. But uh, it's going to take a lot of tries, probably. And what happened to me as a kid is I wasn't paying attention. See, the tent's back open again. You can go do that. So as a kid, I must not have been paying attention. Or I like you know, maybe I couldn't even read completely at that time. So I went into the tent. I must have unlocked the code and not realized it. And then years later, when I found out there was a code, I kept going in, kept going in, trying to unlock it, despite the fact I had already done so. So, it never came up, despite trying so many times. So eventually I, I just like, okay, maybe I'll go try entering it anyway, and it worked. But but uh, if you, in your game, want to try unlocking it, I would definitely suggest trying to enter it beforehand. In case you already have it, and maybe you just didn't realize it. But yeah, she keeps closing up. Did I get this guy? I think they respawn, right? Wow, I slid right into that. Okay, I got that one. I think there's one more guy? Or no, this is back to the entrance again. So we might have all four tickets, actually. 
All right, another question mark, honeycomb. Let's do it. <laughs> Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. So there's not much penalty to dying in this game. Uh, it's not like you have to get all your notes back or anything like that, because uh, in the original game, as we know, in the N64 version, if you died or left the level, you would have to get all the notes back again. This just doesn't work. Oh, there, <laughs> like a specific spot. Where in Banjo-Tooie, you never lose your notes or any items, even if you do die. So that was like something that was already changed for the sequel. Oh, she's open again. So yeah, we got this section going on here. So one thing you'll quickly realize. There are a lot of things that you can't do in this level until you unlock Mumbo. So we are until you have Mumbo and he can come around and kind of activate a whole bunch of stuff. So we need to go find him before we can even do like most of the level. I think there's some things we can climb here though. Got some footprints going up that wall. Is there any reason to climb any of these? Maybe. Maybe not. And a nice thing about the Xbox version is you can see things from far away. I guess there's no reason to climb those. How do you get on top of the fences again? Oh yes, there's a pad over here. That was far enough for fall damage? They did a very good job remastering these games. Yeah, I think they look really nice. 1 in 500 is pretty good odds. Yeah, to all like the Pokemon shiny hunters out there. I'm sure 1 in 500 sounds like really freaking nice. Well, uh, maybe people complain that losing everything was bad. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's also a fact of like the levels being so huge and stuff. Oh, okay, come on, we can do it. The best way is probably to turn off the, uh, the Talon Trot, but who wants to do that? There you go. There should be a couple things to get up here. Ah, we got more shoes we haven't unlocked yet. Claw Clamber Boots. We won't unlock those until way later. But over here, we got a Jinjo. Three out of seven blue ones. Nice. All right, so I think what we're going to do, since we have all four of those tickets, let's get the boss out of the way. Where am I? There we go. So yeah, we got Conga from the first level of the first game. Hasn't been seen since. I'll have to look into that, Ma KCC. It's too bad you missed Clear Gulch Mine. Banjo's TNT transformation is, of course, one of your favorites, Boomer Bear. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, check out that video if you want. Uh, it, it was a really fun one. I don't know if we're always going to get two levels done. I feel like tonight might be like a one level kind of night, plus the stop and swap stuff. We'll see. But uh, the levels definitely get bigger and more involved here. So, uh, you yeah, know, we'll play it by ear. <laughs> But all right, we've paid our tickets. Can't uh, can't we go in? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Like that's just such an arbitrary thing to then go have to learn. <laughs> like they turned everything into a learnable move in this game. Like we can fire eggs while we're standing still, but not in the air. So the space zone. It's over here. And I think the move is like to the left or something. There it is. Pick up the notes as well. But again, here's another situation where until we bring Mumbo here, we can't go inside this building. Oh, look at this guy. Hello, Jackson. Welcome. So here's one of Boggy's children. We're gonna have to find a way to take him back to his mom. Just need a burger before you find his mom. Yes. <laughs> far as fairs go, you enjoy the spinning dizzy rides that go fast. Yeah, those are fun. 
so there's nothing we can do with him right now. We'll have to come back to that later. But for the meantime, let's do this. So airborne egg aiming. Uh, it's about as uh, you know, basic as it sounds. Now we can look around while we're flying in the air, and that's going to be necessary for the boss we're about to fight. Francisco, welcome! Hope you're having a great night. So with that, like we could go in there, but it's another situation if I think we need Mumble to do anything in there. And we got eggs back here. Which we should fill up on grenade eggs because they're going to be very helpful for the boss. And here we go. But you can definitely start to feel the size of the levels in Banjo-Tooie at this point. And I've noticed that compared to Banjo-Kazooie, there's a lot more just kind of walking around the levels. And part of that's probably because, you know, you can probably map out your run better to reduce the amount of, like, backtracking you have to do. But for someone who's just playing the game for fun, it, it, there is there are really a lot of times where it's just kind of running around from place to place. Uh, so Banjo-Kazooie, yeah, True Seed, this is Tui. Hopefully I got the, uh, the title right. Yeah, Lisa, we're definitely more in Mario ROM hack mode right now. Um, we played a lot of Mario Maker 2, and I definitely enjoy the Mario World ROM hacks more. <laughs> so, so I'm not saying we'll never see Mario Maker 2 again, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying the, the Mario World at the moment. And I'm happy to see a lot of everyone else enjoying those too. So for some reason, we're fighting a gigantic blow-up dragon guy. Or a dinosaur guy. Why? I don't know. Just, just because why not? Like, was this supposed to be like a trap laid for us or something like that? But there he is. No, yeah, Boomer Bear, it's fun for sure. Oh, Boomer Bear, yes, did some Mario Kart 7 before the Wii U and 3DS shut down on Monday. Make sure you get your fill while you still can. So, I want to stand still for a second, because I always found it intriguing that there's like these fists that are going to pop up from the ground. Where's the... Oh, actually, maybe the pad doesn't show up until we do this a couple times. Oh, homing eggs might actually be really bad for this. Did you see that? How they're curving, like even when I don't want them to. Hmm, this could be not so good. Ugh. Again, the, uh, something's weird about the controls in this one. Oh come on, that was so close. There you go. Again, even this room for fighting a boss is like massive. Found <laughs> your weak spot. Well, wow, that was so tough to find. So I love that. That is like the same as the Bottles Mole Hills from the first game, despite the fact that they only really show up on Spiral Mountain. Those jam jars comes out of like those, uh, those silos on the ground. But yeah, I, I find that really interesting that they reused the Bottle Mole Hill for that. It's not really that significant, but it, it impresses me for whatever reason. Okay, but yeah, this boss, it's not that big of a deal. Like, he's not really that harmful in any way. It's just a matter of hitting the patches, which is not as, uh, not easy with the Xbox 360 thumbstick. It's, it's amazing how much nicer the uh, M64 one is, how much more accurate it is. But yeah, that's this boss fight, and it's like the next boss fight. Almost every single boss fight from now on is just uh, zooming in and shooting eggs <laughs> at the enemy. At least it lists their, uh, you know, their HP down below, so it tells us we have 10 more patches to go. Nine. And thankfully, if we start running out of grenade eggs, I think there are, yeah, it gives you more on the ground down there, and they do respawn. So you can't run out. We can, so yeah, the, the most uh, dangerous thing in this boss fight is our own explosions. Because those will hurt you. Ah! 
I thought that was a direct hit. You all saw that. You all just saw that. Nintendo intentionally limits the quality and functions of its online services. People have less to complain about when they are statutory. No, yeah, absolutely. Let me read this for a second. It's supposed to be like one of those uh, huge balloon creatures you can win at the games they have at fairs. It could be related to that, yes. Time so was definitely Nintendo's decision to shut down the service. Suppose it wasn't when the Wii server shut down. Probably shouldn't have turned on homing eggs by this bunny. Yeah, it came back to, to bite me pretty quick, didn't it? Rigged, says Boomer Bear. Yeah, that was awful. Speaking of Mario, we made a block frog cartoon that's uh, about Mario today. Oh yeah, please. Yeah, there's that section in the Discord for sharing uh, your personal work. Please do. Okay. Like, I, like this, this one, like they made this like one patch out of steel or something. But yeah, you don't want to be too close. In fact, we actually need some more uh, eggs. That was really cool. <laughs> that was cooler than it should have been. And let's get some health while we're at it. All right, there we go. Look, look at that, Bottles Molehill, teach me a move. All right, so from here, we got six more hits to do. The face seems to have lots still. Did you see that? Did you see that snipe? 360 no scope, everybody. Let's go. Whatever they say. Got my Doritos and Mountain Dew ready. We are playing this on the Xbox 360, too. Uh, all right. All right, well, we're kind of close right now. So let's get out of the way a little bit. There's another one. That's three. Oh, I got both on his face at once. Nice. You saw nothing, says Paps. Uh, all right. Oh, right in the face. Uh, Kazooie female, yes. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. We got one to go. This is like the most like non-threatening boss. Again, like the, the scariest part is that you can hurt yourself with the eggs. There should be one more patch somewhere. Is that on his? No, not his face. Not his. Oh, there it is. I don't even really need to fly for this one. I'm just kind of <laughs> having fun with it at this point. I want to do like an epic uh, you know, side hit here. So. Ah. Oh. It's in a weird spot on the side. It's like you either face. It's like you're always either facing his back or his front. Oh, all right. We're, whoa, two health? Okay, I'm actually kind of afraid. Where's... How do you get out of this view? Where's all the health that was, like, around the battlefield? Isn't there more of that? It doesn't respawn. Hmm. Well... Suddenly, we need to stop fooling around and take things seriously. This boss more difficult than Silver Surfer confirmed. Um. Yes! <laughs> You're scared, says Trusty. I was kind of sweating for a second there. Let me see here. Yeah, um, Daniel. Like, at least people seem to you know, get their own servers going, but... And yeah, Nintendo's nasty for, for taking stuff down. Can we, like, fly directly into that? Whoops. There you go. So that was pretty intense, actually. It got kind of intense by the end. What is that? Oh, these were like lights or something, I guess. Huh? Like, it's kind of weird. I don't think you can ever come back in here again after you beat it, so... Take our time to explore everything while we can. That's like the super secret stop and swap feature that uh, no one ever knew about. 
Can, uh, do I have full everything? There you go. So yeah, there's a there's a jiggy for Witchy World. <laughs> pretty uh, pretty involved. But all right, so with that done, we've done that. We got Space World to the left, which we can't really do yet because we need Mumbo to turn a whole bunch of stuff on. We can go back into Madam Grunty's again though. Maybe she'll give us a beating and reduce us down to one health. You want an energy bar refill? Heck yeah! Oh, like only one segment of it? Sounded like it was gonna be better than that. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Gives us a health and then takes it right back. Speaking of which, let's destroy this guy. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to move the stick. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, there's the, there's what we're looking for. All right, we can't get much worse than we're already at. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. Okay, well, let's pretend that didn't happen. Now let's try this again. Oh, is this the exclamation mark one? Thank you. Thank you. At least those, the, the question mark one can't like outright kill you, or else we'd probably be so unlucky to get that. Alright, once again, Grunty, give us something good. Even extra fire eggs. Okay, well, we already had 50 of those. Anyone keeping track? I should be counting how many times we've done this. What do you think this is, like the 10th try now? This is 11. Eggs. Twelve. Oh, we don't need that. Thirteen. Why isn't she green, True Seed? So, uh, at the end of the last game, she got stuck underground. And when she's uh, freed, at the beginning of this game, uh, her flesh is essentially been eaten. She's like a skeleton now, which is what you're seeing. Gold feathers, again. There are just so many items in this game. The nests make it so easy to always have so many items that the, the refills aren't that helpful. Well, there you go. I'm surprised she hasn't closed up again. So we're just gonna keep trying. She's all bone and smells of rot, RC Shaggy. Welcome, I hope you're having a great night. All right. Two in a row. And then she closes up. Beautiful. So with that, again, I have no real... Oh, wow. Nice shot. Strategy for what section we should do when. Mm, there's something I'm looking for. Is it in this section? Off to the right here? Yes. I think we can do this right now. So ring the bell to win a top prize. So yeah, we got one of those classic uh, carnival games. We saw this in Bart vs. the Space Mutants as well. Where we hit this to try and get the thing at the top. So you do the normal ground pound. You do the drill ground pound. And you shoot it with grenade eggs. And it sends it right to the top. As a kid, um, the part that I found tricky about this was the normal ground pound. Because if you hold the Z button, you do the drill, but you just have to lightly tap it to do the normal one again. And um, I just didn't click as a kid to, to try that. But there you go. Another jiggy. I hear a Jinjo. We also need to worry though, because I think Minjos start showing up around now. And those are the ones that will, will chase you and hurt you. 
We've also got some notes hidden around. All right, let's see. Where should we go? Okay, he's up there, huh? So let's do this. And then this. Hello, Diego. Welcome. You vote for you to be able to use this cheat, says Christian. Um, so I don't think it will even let you enter the cheat until she tells it uh, to you. So we have to learn it from her. All right, two out of three yellow ones is very nice. I think we got some stuff to do if we climb up here. So that's what we're going to do next. So we got Wumba over there. Let's actually go over here and unlock this. And where's the Globo is a good question. Doesn't look like we can go behind in this one. The Globos are usually pretty close to the tent. Is it in the tent in this one? It is too! Like it is- oh. Like, I don't know why they introduced this thing that you have to find to give to them. They're just gonna freaking throw it right there. But okay, now we have that uh, puzzle solved. We'll need to transform into that sooner rather than later. But we still got a couple more things I want to do before we transform. That is correct, RC Shaggy. So to find out if it's a ninja or not, um, just like shoot a grenade egg at it and your questions will be answered. Uh, Ma KCC, uh, not too far off. Took you so long to figure out as a kid, Blockfrog. I'm happy I'm not the only one. Okay, so we go up here. And we want to just, like, grab onto the end of this. Like, you can try and uh, carefully walk across it. But the easier way is, I think, to, um, to grab on. And just uh, climb across. Where am I? Like, can we walk across? It's easier when you know how to uh, properly center the camera. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. Now, some buttons in this game you have to, like, ground pound. Some you can just stand on. He experienced the scenic splendor of the cable cart ride. So, let's do it. So I don't know if you've been noticing, but sometimes at the bottom right, a bubble will show up that says press B to interact. That was not in the original game. Um, so it, this game goes out of its way to, to tell you when you can press B to do things, which is interesting. And that takes us to here where we can get ourselves an empty honeycomb. Very nice. Uh, and from up here, we can also climb across here. You gotta get this cheat tonight. You never knew about it. I need to find out what it is, and that is on this uh, on the stream. I will keep trying. Every time I, I can, I'll go back and do uh, Madame Grenty again. There are other hints too, but that's the obvious one. Okay, so we hit this, which will... Again, another one of those pads that you don't actually have to the ground pound. That makes getting up here easier. We don't have to take the cable cart every time. And can we hit the switch now, or does it need power? Hey! Do you know where this connects to? That was the fuel depot back in Glitter Gulch Mine. We had to blow up some rocks with the TNT, and now this box can come through here. And it's a... It's a UFO you can ride in. It's pretty rad. Can we do this now? That's currently closed. Due to a lack of power. So yeah, that's another thing. We need to bring Mumbo to turn the power on. So like half the level is inaccessible until you can get Mumbo. And Mumbo is not like right in your face in this level. You have to go find him. You, know, you might have noticed we actually haven't seen Mumbo's skull yet. You like how the platform changes color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, goes from like wood to metal. Isn't that weird? Oh, here we go. All right. What is this like 16? Try number 16. Oh, energy bar. No, oh, don't close again. Okay. So, so this area 
I don't remember much about it. What's in these doors? These doors are very interesting because they look like the doors in Grantilda's lair in the first game. No, yeah, there's notes in here. But yeah, these caves I know have something in them. I guess we'll check it out. Can you climb this? Yes, you can. UFO, UFO, says Daniel. Yeah, again, um, there's so many things that we can't even do until we have uh, have Mumbo. <laughs> so, so we'll have to go do that at some point. Yeah, Wooden turns metal, RC Shaggy. Isn't that neat? So this is, I think, where I was thinking you can hang on to the edge. Oh, to make things easier on yourself. Okay. Saved it. <laughs> we don't have red health in this game, so we need to be a little more careful. But let's try that again. And again, the reason we're climbing across this is I think there's a jiggy on the other side. Yes. I like that the music stops. That's just how high up we are. <laughs> if it even forces you to do a backflip, that's funny. And see, that's why they placed the water, so we can just do this. There we go. Alright, what's inside these doors? There's no underwater theme for this world because the large bucket of water is the only water. That's that's actually really fascinating. Um, Alright, see, so yeah, there's like a tunnel here you go through. I remember this. I think these lead to like prison cells or something. Oh, maybe also the trains. Okay, okay. It's kind of coming back. I think the teeth hurt you if you touch them. Is that true? Should we find out if that's true? Also, where did the light go? I do have fire eggs if we need to, to take them out. Oh, they do hurt you. That's like, <laughs> it's like touching the stove. You know, once you do it once, then you know. Warning, the management accepts no responsibility for soul underwear as a result of viewing the Cave of Horrors exhibit. Well, you've been warned, everyone. So yeah, this is like, um, yeah, Cave of Horrors. Hey, look who it is! Am I glad to see some familiar faces? He, we were supposed to see you in the lava world! On my way to the lava world! But I got captured. So how do you open these up again? I guess grenade eggs? Question mark. They get used to that cage. Faulty lights indeed. So there's a big lock. There you go. Now he's going to the lava world. Which won't show up until Banjo 3 emails. <laughs> we actually will see lava at some point. Soiled it! Soiled it! Exactly. Okie dokie, so we're in here now. We got a sign for some reason. Is your fortune a secret? Find out at Madame Grenty's. Sometimes the signs don't really have all that much of a purpose. We got this guy! Came on the train to visit the theme park. Those filthy rats chucked me in here, into this cage. Now I'm an exhibit. <laughs> the world's pretty messed up. <laughs> Alright, so another door we can open up. Yeah, that's a, that's correct, Block Frog. All right, so we've opened up this cage now. Might as well grab some health over here. And that leaves one more. Although this might be the point. 
where we do this. But are you a real one? Oh, you are. <laughs> okay. I was expecting it not to be. Three out of three yellow ones, everybody. We are really checking off the Jinjo list here. In fact, let's take a quick moment to review that. I think we found... Like, last time we also found both orange ones. Both yellow... Uh, all three yellow ones. When do you think we'll find the white one? The white one is the rarest of all Jinjos. Just a single one of them. Which means like an instant jiggy. It's always exciting when that guy turns up. Oh, I'm waiting at the lava world, but he was captured. Yes. Yes, I see Shaggy. Um, okay. And this just looks like a dead end with some eggs. But we're gonna do it anyway. But this room is very reminiscent of um, the one in the first game, where you find the puzzle for Gobi's Valley. Except this one has like way worse lighting. Oh, I should have been getting grenade eggs. Which we're probably running out of. Again, assuming we can get a couple more Cheeto pages, today we can hopefully unlock the cheat to double our egg count. And that's great, because who doesn't want more grenade eggs? Alright, so it was worth coming into this cave. I'm happy we did. So one thing I noticed when re-watching the stream is that the, uh, the brightness on my laptop monitor must be brighter than it is on my television. Because I could see in the dark pretty well. Uh, like in the parts of Glitter Gulch Mine that we did last time. Even without the, the lights turned on. But on my television, the darkness, the, the brightness must be a, bit, a little lower, because I don't see things as easily. Yeah, RC Shaggy, always nice when we can do that. And is this the train station? Hey, can't you read? Like all food must be consumed in the theme park. That's not fair. Like, it's usually the opposite. Normally, the theme park stops you from bringing food in. You don't try and uh, stop you from taking it out. Like, we already handed over the burger. Um, but uh, what she's referring to is this sign on the wall. I think we hopefully get the fries back when we leave the room? Or do we have to, like, actually go uh, get them back again? So here's a train station. You may remember in the last part, we unlocked... Or rather, we fixed up the train. We had to defeat old King Cole. And we, now we can use his train for whatever we want. I think there's some... Yeah, we can do some stuff in here. Um, as mentioned in the last part, one of the most overused gimmick in this game is climbing along cracks in the wall, so always keep an eye out for those. Can't even see that guy. And with this... The train can now come to Witchy World. And that's what that dino guy was mentioning earlier. So if we go down here... And we should be able to use this sign to bring the train here. And the dinosaur should jump onto the train. So how's everyone enjoying Banjo-Tooie? Just think, this is the third level of Banjo-Tooie. Uh, the third level of Banjo-Kazooie is Clanker's Cavern. How do you think those uh, the, you know, those levels compare? <laughs> Pretty different, huh? And there you go. So, that's why we did that. Have you seen the latest episode of Smiling Friends? No, I have not seen that. Not bad, says RC Shaggy. So now, they went into the back of that train car, and that will be good for later. But for the moment, all right, we've done everything in that room. I, th I don't think there was anything else to do in this room. It's bothering me. I might be thinking of a different train station that has an empty honeycomb in it. Like, did we do everything in here? Looks like it. 
They like to hide things in the train stations. And then, you know, there's also these here, but they don't let you go. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering if those were, like, actually doors or not. But okay, so that's both of those. I think what's next, then, is to transform. Actually, no, no, there is still one place we haven't gone before we do the Wumba transformation. So let's go do that. That's if we go over here into this section once again. And go through this door this time. Hello, joining me today, uh, today podcast. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by the stream. And here's another move that we can learn. But oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Sure would be a shame if we did that. See, I gotta watch out for those evil Jinjos now. The Minjos. This is another case of, like, it looks like a scary gate, but you just blow it up. And not only is this for an empty honeycomb, but it's also a room we can go in back here. And this room has two switches. One with Kazooie's face. And one with Banjo's face. So this is a tough puzzle, everyone. How are we ever going to figure that one out? But, alright, back out here. Uh, RC Shake. Everyone's asking about Grunty's Revenge, and uh, I'm definitely up for playing it. Uh, the debate now becomes, do we play it before or after Nuts and Bolts? I'm super excited for Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> but if there's enough demand to play it before that... Hey, didn't I defeat you? Yeah, everyone, let me know what you think in that regard. Oh, no way, son. I'll only teach you... Oh, shoot. I, I, he was going to say he'll only teach it to us if we're playing as Banjo exclusively. So I guess we'll do that. So here we go. We haven't really experienced these guys individually much yet. Playing with Banjo, his move... Actually, he can't even attack at this point. It's kind of funny. You, le you need to learn literally everything. Even how to just attack on your own as Banjo. Is that what this move's gonna be? Look at that! Pack whack! Hand's got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? There you go. Nuts and bolts, Ma KCC. I have played through Grunty's Revenge once back when it first came out, and have not played it since. So I cannot answer hardly any questions about that game at all. That actually raises a good point. Does that game have multiple files? Um, because I'm not going to delete, like, my old OG file. So, like, do I need to find another card or play a ROM? So we might just play, uh, you know, Nuts and Bolts, I think. But there you go. One button for Banjo. And one for Kazooie. Oh, there's even a sign up there we never read. So yeah, turning the pump back on. Blows up the old bouncy castle. And to get them back together, you kind of just do a thing like this. Now let's go up here and read what that sign has to say. To ring the bell requires three different strikes. So we've already solved that puzzle, so not too much help. And with the, the castle blown up, we can now head inside there. Where's the entrance on this? There it is. Oh, one for just Kazooie. But it looks like in here we can go with both of them. It's the Balloon Burst game. 60 seconds in which to score 50 points. If you want to hear the rules, we'll do them quick. I believe the uh, balloons show up. So in every mini game we play in this game, remember, red is worth one, green is worth two, and blue is worth three. And that's consistent through all mini games that you see in Banjo-Tooie. So always go for those blue ones when you can. Yeah, in this case, we're just shooting balloons. And uh, you have uh, rapid fire eggs right now. 
So you can just hold the shoot button while you're looking around the room. This is uh, also one of the mini games that becomes available when you're playing multiplayer. You face off with a friend to see who can get the most points. It's always a classic time. And uh, 50 points is nothing. We're pretty much already there in half the time. But yeah, Banjo, uh, as we mentioned, you know, Banjo Katooie, you know, every level typically has some mini games, every level has some boss has a boss to fight. Plus the levels are much bigger, so it definitely has a bit of a different vibe than the original. Oh, we even got uh, there you go. 15G. Points make prizes. That must have been for getting 60 points, maybe? In fact, we should probably go review the achievements. We'll do that after we're done here. 75! We destroyed it. Man, that was... <laughs> you only played Banjo-Kazooie and its sequel a few times when you were younger. Not sure yourself either. Uh, nowadays, you would much rather watch people play this game. Like on how most of the games from the good old days had a trio. The main three colors, green, red, blue. Yes! Um, is there a reason to play again? Like, let's go to the achievements. What have we unlocked? Sir, 60 points. Like, we needed 50. An extra 10 is not that hard. I beat Klungo. Click the note and egg. Did, wasn't there an achievement that we got for uh, doing stop and swap stuff? Separate Banjo. Oh! Or have Heggy hatch a stop and swap it. Got it. That's so random. Like, why are those two things considered the same? Okay, and then otherwise, freeze every octopi. Oct okay, so all of those look like they're coming up later. Let's see, can we go through the door? <laughs> yes. All right. And yeah, with that, that was a fairly easy jiggy. Is it? Uh, yeah, that's the thing about some mini games. It's like if you replay them and get a better score, then uh, sometimes you do get Cheeto pages. So in fact, we will go back and check that out. Thanks for the suggestion, Block Frog. But the fact that they made an achievement for 60 makes you feel like maybe that was it. I know that there's the door with Kazooie's face on it. We're gonna come back as just Kazooie. See if we can go in there next. Will she say anything? Okay, well... We'll try and beat our score from last time. I don't think this will do anything, but it never hurts to check. Then they're all ones. Yeah, they are really all ones right now. Oh, there's a... Again, just never let go of the shoot button. No reason to. We never run out of eggs. It's, it's a little tough to, like, know, you know, you can be missing all the, the good balloons behind you. Because you really only get to see straight ahead. Yeah, I feel like the selection this time is a lot worse. It's a lot of red balloons. There's hardly any blue ones. Oh, there's... Oh, there they all are. Alright, we didn't quite get what we got last time. <laughs> Let's best score 75 points. So, I don't think there's a Cheeto page for that? That's pretty mean if, you know, you set your own high score. Ooh. And then... Oh, that was weird. And then you're like, you know, you're forced to beat it. Because I've set a pretty good score there. There's definitely a little bit of luck involved in, like, uh... You know, there has to be good, um... You know, balloons that show up for you to even have a chance. Good thing it's free. Speaking of which, we should be going back to Madame Grunty. We'll do that right after this. To try and um, get that cheat code again. Okay, now we can go on this side. Crazy Castle Lobby. Is it Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle? So in this one, we just have to run through a bunch of hoops as Kazooie. And I think we even get um, the shoes to help us out here. Yeah, 
And once again, blue is three, green is two, red is one. Yeah, it might be the UFO one, Block Frog. That might be what we're thinking. RC Shaggy, did I do something wrong? <laughs> With the no? You might be a second behind. Maybe that's why. Alright, it's only 30 points this time, which is, like, super simple. Like, why they think 30 points was, like, a challenge in 60 seconds, I don't know. Again, lots of red ones, though. And it's funny because, you know, in the original game, you have that uh, battle with Mr. Vile, where you're eating the, you know, the red things in Double Gloop Swamp. And you might not have the, the shoes unlocked by that point, where in this game, the, the shoes are unlocked by default, so, like, there's no question of whether or not you're gonna be able to take advantage of them here. But yeah, here we go. Uh, jumping through rings like it's no one's business. Try and get at least 50. And there you go. Fifty-five, that's a nice number. It is the UFO one. Good to hear, Block Frog. And that's another Jiggy. So two pretty easy Jiggies. Right beside each other there. And I think we're good. This, uh, that's hot. Well, what you were thinking too, Crazy Castle 3 was the first Game Boy game you ever played. You never got to finish it because you didn't actually own it at the time. Now you do own it. You can't play it. Oh, no Game Boy to play it or... Or such, but there was there like four Crazy Castle games? Five maybe even? It's a weird series. And uh, I, Bugs Bunny's C Crazy Castle wasn't my favorite. I definitely preferred Birthday Blowout. Another game that, despite the ABGN's review, I don't think was horrible. Alright, where's our thing here? Here it is. And here we go. So with that, I think we're going to go do the Wumba transformation now. After we do a few more t attempts at Madame Grunty, what are the totals looking like? Um, five Jiggies, so halfway there. 20 notes we're still missing. Two Jinjos, one Honeycomb, and a Globo guy. Okie dokie. And, of course, you know, again, that cheat code not being listed anywhere. You kind of just have to know about that one. Oh, yeah, I figured it out, David Ray. No problem. Alright, so what have we done? Like, 15, 20 tries on this guy? Also, our fries were taken, right? Like, do we have to get them back, or do we still have the fries? Uh, oh! Five burgers? Really? I don't remember getting that many of each of those, but I'll take your word for it. Like, what do you use five burgers on? I do not recall that. But alright, Madam Grunty, here we go. <laughs> it is like my my version of the shiny hunting. You win a beating! Ah, that's exactly what I wanted. If you want a bad Bugs Bunny game, play Rabbit Rampage on the SNES. Uh-oh. What's so bad about it, Super Tom Brother? And welcome, by the way. I beat, uh, naturally beat both of those Bugs Bunny games on the NES. And some gold feathers. And yeah, definitely enjoyed, uh, Birthday Blowout more. Crazy Castle's not a, not a horrible puzzle game, though. Extra grenade eggs. Now, when she says extra, it makes you think, like, oh, I can carry more. But no, it's just, uh, kind of like a refill. <laughs> of course. And, uh, again, I think I mentioned it. She can kill you if you only have one left. So don't accidentally go in here if you only have one. It'd be funny if, like, they made the chance of getting the cheat code higher the less health you had. Sort of thing. But alright. What is it, like, 25 now? Energy bar refill. There you go. Oh, oh, closed again. 
Okay, well, I guess we'll go transform. Can we still go into the tent after we're transformed? That's the question. This is not the right spot. Oh, speaking of which, we should definitely kill this guy. Try and get some help back. Oh, wrong egg. I shot that projectile, like, out of the air. That was pretty cool. Where's the honeycomb you're supposed to drop? I noticed that the slot machines have like a really high chance of dropping the either question mark or the exclamation mark honeycomb. So they're a good way to get your health back, assuming you're good at the timer, but now they're just not dropping anything. Oh, we do have this guy though. Man, have we even defeated one of these guys in this game? I didn't want to defeat him right away in case he had a text box. We might have seen like one of those before. They're not as common as the first game. Are you open again? I don't get the arbitrary opening and closing, but... Okay, actually, I think we can use this pad to get the Wumba too, so that will be nice. Because yeah, we need to use Wumba Transform to get the Mumbo, who will then unlock, like, the other half of the level. Another great Bugs Bunny game, kind of, is Toon Buster's Hidden Treasure. Oh, Raynock! Yeah, the Mr. Patch Boss fight. We had uh, a close call with that one. It is a cool boss fight, yes. Now, Banjo 2, we had some great bosses and closed again. We will get that cheat, though, I promise. Uh, Lumba's 10. All right, everyone, are you ready to transform? Actually, before we can do that, I gotta do this. Oh, 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 speaking of Bugs Bunny games, Bug Bunny uh, Lost in Time. I loved that game as a kid. Had it on PlayStation growing up. It's like the, you know, Mario 64 Bugs Bunny edition. Typical collect-a-thon platformer. You learn new moves and stuff, Banjo-Kazooie style. I had a great time with it. So if you've never checked out that game, definitely do. I've always thought of giving that one a replay. So there you go, we're a, we're a, no, I don't want to do that. We're like a money truck, and you can honk. There you go. And why do you honk? To open up doors that have the money truck on them. Some of these doors will take you to new areas. This one is just kind of used to uh, take you to the top up there. Because obviously you can't climb as the truck. So that's how you kind of get back up to where Wumba is here. And yeah, it's time to go around and open some doors with the truck. Definitely an interesting transformation. Can we go visit Madame Grunty in truck mode? Time to find out. Oh no, maybe? Oh, she's closed uh, now anyway. But before we go to where Mumbo is, one thing we gotta do with the truck is over here. We gotta open up this door in good old Area 51. We got a red Jinjo in there. Four out of six. Like, again, there's some colors we just haven't seen yet, and then there's ones that were just, like, really almost done already. It's nice. Can we run over guys with the truck? <laughs> yes, you can. What about these guys? You probably can't run these guys over. Well, okay, apparently you can. I am touching that, like, all day long. Wow, you can't pick up- oh, maybe we don't even have help. You are just invincible as the truck. I, I forgot about that uh, little detail, that's cool. Talk to NPCs? Why would I ever do that? Sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not allowed to serve your kind. That's like, you know, um, you can't like ride your bike or walk up to, uh, to a drive-thru, right? The night that um, I stayed out all side for the Wii, there was a Burger King nearby, so my friend and I tried to go and get something from Burger King since the drive-thru was open late. And they're like, no, we can't serve you if you're not in the vehicle. Seems kind of flawed. But yeah, she doesn't like trucks, so she's not going to talk to us. But yeah, that's funny. I've never really thought to talk to NBCs like this. What if we go back in here? Oh, oh you can come back in here. I lied. <laughs> Diego. <laughs> fair enough, Diego. Fair enough. 
<laughs> Take that. I think there's one here. Where does this go? Oh, that was for the treble clef. I think that was the last 20 notes of the level. So that's, uh, that's all of them then. I think it was 20 we were still missing, right? Yeah, they really don't let you in there as the truck. That's too bad. We'll talk to the fry guy too. We have some questions about that. No, oh, it's a, literally the exact same message the other guy had. Okay, so with that done, next thing we can do is go over here and put money into this thing. And I think this will stay open now even if we come back as Banjo. The large gorilla left. Yeah, Congo's gone. Congo's gone. You guys ever... No, I've never seen that Super Tom brother. <laughs> right now. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Yeah, so this is where we find Mumbo. And then using him, we can actually access, like, other things. Again, we're invincible, right? So we can just go, like, right into the lava? I love it. Like, again, they put this path here, like, oh, don't fall in the lava, but there's literally, like, no penalty if you do. What's this? Oh, Cheeto Page. Yeah, we haven't seen many of those, huh? Uh. Yeah, we're still missing two of those. Again, one of them is probably from the UFO game. And where's the other one? I don't even know. But yeah, here we go. There's the Globo. Like how the enemies run from you when you're in truck form. There we go. The Globo. And here's a teleport pad, so we can easily get back in here again later. Can we go up here as the truck? That's kind of funny. But uh, it's not going to help us out much. No, you, they push you back down. That's good. Separation pads. There's the door. Alright. So now that, uh, again, we've come in here. I guess we should go see if Mumbo makes any comment. But I think that's pretty much all we have to do with this transformation. It's not overly useful. Yeah, there's, uh, I think that's the last one of those guys, right? Did he not say anything? He doesn't have any comment when you're transformed as a truck? Seriously? There you go. So all those years, I never really went around talking to NPCs as the truck. I wasn't missing that much. Uh, yeah, I think he is supposed to be like a Jinjo. The story goes that Grunty turned his face into a mask. Um, so like he's- that's not how he's supposed to look, I think is the story. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going in here. I think we did everything as the truck. I'll probably realize at some point that I forgot, like, one thing. And then back to Mumbo. Actually, before we do Mumbo... Like, we'll go to where he is. But let's do this tower. How do we do the tower? What's this button do again? So you hit this switch. Yeah, that's right. There's going to be a pad that appears at the top. I think it's time sensitive, though. Is it? Ah, okay. No, that's how it works. Yes. So we need to split up. I like how the, the camera totally destroyed the, the jump I was about to make there. Alright, so the pads, I think, are over here. So we gotta have Banjo stand on that pad while Kazooie runs up the tower. And that's scary because Kazooie does not have much health if you uh, take too much damage along the way. And so don't forget, Banjo can swing his pack now. If you do it in the air, it gives you like a little bit extra distance. You ever notice in DK64 that troll and scoff? <laughs> oh man, how many times do I have to read the first half of the comment and then get to the second half and be like, Nope, I'm not reading the rest of that. <laughs> oh boy, okay, so. All right, here we go. Up the tower. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Ooh. 
Again, I don't like that the health splits up when they split. Like, it makes sense. But I don't know. I've never liked it. I think that's it, though. Uh, an important thing to note is that Kazooie jumps way higher on these pads when you're playing as her alone. And that uh, comes into... Uh, that, that factors in in the future when it comes to getting certain items. So don't forget that. Otherwise, I think we're done in terms of items. So let's just carefully descend back down the tower. Oh. Again, I don't... Does, does Kazooie experience, like, any fall damage? I forget. But we're not going to take a chance. Alright, that should be good. And now it's mumbo time. And then, can we go behind this mumbo house? Yes, but there is nothing. <laughs> See the, that's right, that's right. When we play DK64, they'll, uh, the, they'll be on display for all to see, for sure. All right, do your thing, Mumbo. That's <laughs> true, oh. You think Mario Odyssey is heavily inspired from Banjo-Tooie? There's a lot of similarities. And that comment was from uh, Diego. You wonder, right? Mario Odyssey's levels definitely being on the bigger side. Tower reminds you of the barrel level from Star Fox Adventures. I beat Star Fox Adventures when it first came out and actually enjoyed it. Unfortunately, the second half of the game felt like super rushed and unfinished compared to the first half. But I, I had enough fun with it, and it's always been a game that I'm like, oh man, I should go back and try that again someday. Do you want to see a Star Fox Adventures Let's Play playthrough um, on stream someday? Maybe. Again, it's been so many years. It's been like 20 years now, so I remember nothing about it practically. I guess we'll just go to the beginning and start from here. Was there anything in this section for Mumbo? Yes. This one. So yeah, there's like five or six things. You just have to transform into Mumbo and activate, and then that's it. So, so get ready to see this cutscene a lot. You're glad that Globo's replaced Mumbo tokens. Yeah, I mean, it's nicer that the... You know, I don't have to go searching out the Mumbo tokens. Like, the Mumbo tokens were never easy to find. You end up with so many extras at the end. Is the volume level okay, everyone? I just remembered I never did adjust the, uh, the sound effects. Star Fox is- Oh, that's true! I completely- That slipped my mind! Yeah! That makes it perfect for a Rareware Thursday after we play, like, 40 other Rareware games. That's true! Alright, now I'm super hyped for, for Star Fox Adventures, everyone. Get ready. You want a new Banjo game? I'm trying to read the, the text and walk at the same time. Particularly, one without a car building as a game mechanic. <laughs> I hear ya. Again, I feel like hardly anyone has ever played Nuts and bolts. What if we play it and it ends up being amazing? And like the, the car building mechanic is only like 10% of the game? I will laugh so hard. Boomer Z Bear following on the old Twitch. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope, uh, I mean, Boomer Bear, I know it's you. Um, hope that uh, you, know, you enjoy the Twitch side of things. All right, Mumbo Pad number two. And Raynock with the 199, thank you! Star Fox Adventures for Rare Thursday? Again, agreed, completely agreed. Um, there's a big lineup now, you know, that's why it made so much sense to make a dedicated Rareware day. They just made so many cool games. How about Grabbed by the Ghoulies, everyone? <laughs> Pack that on the end of the list after we play like 40 other things. Uh, I've only ever played that one, never beaten it. But yeah, you know, there's so much potential for cool Rareware games to play. I am excited, and hope all of you enjoy it too. Did I ever get this one? Did I forget it? Oh, okay. I was like, where was the fourth one? I noticed the list was a little thin, um, but that was where I missed it. And again, I think there's another Mumbo in here. Oh, yeah, okay, Raynock. <laughs> Thank you so much once again, Raynock. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm totally uh, hyped for, for Star Fox Adventures now. Let's do it. Never knew I had a Twitch until recently, but you thought, why not? No, it's a, it's a very recent development. Um, the Twitch account has like always been there, but I've just started restreaming to it, because I know there's some people who enjoy watching on there as well. Twitch also seems to have a pretty good retro 
like community or viewer base. I thought I couldn't hurt the branch out a little bit. So again, thank you for that. And Raynock, really, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. The channel also has memberships now, too, if you want to have a funky badge beside your name and some emojis to use there on the YouTube side. Yeah, it's like here's like the third mumbo cutscene. So we can do this as Banjo now. Is that all of them? I thought there was one more. But otherwise, time to walk back. Didn't I stream the Mega Man ripoff on Twitch? Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, my very first uh, attempt at ever streaming on Twitch was back. Can you go in here as Mumbo? That would have been funny if you could. Was when I beat the Cryon Conquest. Since I figured it would just be like a short nothing burger stream, just for fun, I, I tried out Twitch. And, I, yeah, it was weird, but that's true. That was the first time I ever really tried it. Was there anything to do with Mumbo anywhere else? Am I forgetting anything with Mumbo? We can always go get him back if we need to, I guess. I think that's it, though. I think that's it. Just going through all the places in my head. I think that's it. You don't know why other either, but you love Mumbo Chanty? Well, that's good, because, again, there's a lot of it there, so hopefully you enjoyed it. You own Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Super Tom. As a part of Rare Replay, tried to play, but you didn't care for the art style. No, the characters look pretty funky for sure. It's going to be very jarring. I think that's what we're going to play after this one. I know that uh, there's a case to be made for Grunty's Revenge in between. But I think we I just want to play the, the 3D ones in a row and see how that feels. But Grunty's Revenge can definitely be on the menu for either after that or for the future at some point. All right. What do we want to do? Let's do the space zone. Starting with inside this uh, this place here. Now that we've used Mumbo to activate these platforms, we can go way up and get some items up there. Do I how much health do I have? Yeah, I'm missing a little bit. You can fall. We're going to be ascending quite high. And again, with the uh, nice draw distance in the Xbox version, let's have a look at just where exactly we're going. Now, we are going up there. Actually, it's not as high as I thought it was. <laughs> it seems higher in the other games. Uh, I hear uh, I'm uh, whistling. I think that's a fake guy, though. Where am I? That's a weird perspective. Oh. Yeah, of course. That's why it's, uh, you know, I'm doing both. I'm restreaming the both so you can watch on whatever platform you prefer. Didn't think it would be too bad to have a bit of variety. Where am I? Okay. So this thing, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a slanted platform. So you got to make sure you're doing the Talon Trot. Otherwise, you'll slide off. And I think that's that. And this will be like the one, the first time we've really used gold feathers in this game. We don't use them much in Banjo-Tooie at all. So you, I don't even think you were yellow before. Plus we found all of the yellow ones. So yeah, but okay, we can come talk to you. There's a bee on her shirt. All right, have some fries. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see Daniel. We'll probably end up getting banned on there at some point. It'll be hilarious when we do. But that's the thing. The thing I thought about Twitch is just like, you know, throw the streams up on there. Maybe some new people will find it as a result of that. Because I know there's quite a few other retro game streamers on Twitch as well. There seems to be less on YouTube. At least from what I've seen. So hopefully, you know, maybe I'll get added to the, the recommended section on Twitch or however it works and people can join on there. But of course, I love my YouTube base. Appreciate all of you hanging out tonight and for all the streams. And uh, don't worry, YouTube's definitely the priority. And we'll be sticking around here for years to come until it gets shut down or whatever. <laughs> Daily Motion makes a big comeback and takes over. Where am I going now? Oh, that's right. I should not have left the space area. The warp pads in this level are kind of like not that big of a deal, like really from, you know, that tent to there. I guess that's hardly needed. Um, but where am I going? I think I need to climb up a pole somewhere now. We get back over there, right? Oh yeah, this pole, this pole. 
What is with these bears wanting food? <laughs> bear stereotypes. Right? Put an end to bear stereotyping. Minjo, yes. Gotta watch out for those guys. Is this a real one? There you go again. Another red one. Can't believe how well we're doing with the with the Jinjos. So we need to get over there for the for the UFO now. That we've activated the power. More power. Uh, but we need to find a way back up there. We could use the trolley that goes across the top. I thought there was another way. Maybe there's a pole on this side? No? I'm probably just forgetting. But alright. With that said then, I guess we'll do it the long way. Let's give me a look here. Like, like hmm. Because the way that they put the jump pad there... Oh, so it just prevents you from having to climb across again. That's weird. I thought, like, it was a nicer shortcut than that. But all right, we're doing it the extremely long, convoluted way. Be <laughs> Super Tom Brother. Bariotypes. I like it. The warp points, you mean? Yeah, and uh, in other levels, they're definitely more useful. Again, Witchy World feels bigger than the two levels we've done so far, but it's manageable still. The next level being like 95% underwater, you're really going to feel the distance between things. Alright, we can go on here now and do this. Alright, where am I going? Over... Here. Now, see, if you climb across, you have to worry about the electricity now because it's turned back on. But we can cheat and use this guy. And yeah, so this is going to have a jiggy for us to earn and the and the Cheeto page. Plus, we can now use this. Oh, yeah, well, I was going to demonstrate. Well, just for fun, anyway. Let's leave here. Glow back to the Glitter Gulch Mine. Interesting that those eggs aren't, uh, they're not changing from, like, gold to, to red and such. But yeah, that's where this leads to. And so if we look at our items now, we won't have the fries and burgers anymore. But if we go back in, will we get them back? Jolly, <laughs> right? That's, uh, that's why, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And if we go back to here... Oh! We don't get them back, so we're going to have to go bug the, the dudes for them again. Interesting. Oh, that's right. We should be doing Madame Grunty as well. I keep forgetting. But uh, right now we have another mini game, everybody. Lots of mini games in this level. It's spaceship time. Much like the mini game we did earlier where we had to fly and hit the balloons. This one you also get like an infinite rapid fire egg. You're hitting targets of the familiar colors, trying to get a high score. Yes, Boomer Bear, I like how you can hear 500 points to win first prize, 400 points for second prize. Okay. Let's see, they kind of just like materialize in the air. I believe it's the same path and same format every time, so you can kind of learn it if you don't uh, get it on your first try. Ooh, okay. What's more difficult, this or Silver Surfer? <laughs> oh, we're even going inside here. You had to replay this minigame so many times. Uh-oh. I'm afraid now. Yeah, 500, 500 points sounds like a lot. I don't remember much about this minigame how I used to fare with it. Like, I don't remember having to play it that many times, so I think that's a hopefully a good sign, but we'll see. You know, lots of opportunity to win some points here. I know you start doing flips at some point, and that makes it tough. Yeah, whenever you see the blue and green ones, make sure you prioritize those. Red's not as important. Uh, again, this is nicer with the N64 stick, but so far so good, I think. 188, coming out of the room. 
Sir, Silver Surfer bragging rights now. It took us, like, all I can do now is compare the Silver Surfer streams to, like, so many other games we've beat. Like, Silver, uh, Silver Surfer took, like, less time than, like, you know, Ghostbusters or, you know, Russian Attack took, like, freaking five times as long. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, give Silver Surfer a try yourself. You know, it might not be as crazy as you think. But it, is, it was rough in some ways, too. But yeah, I guess that is one where you know, I can be like, ah, I did that thing. Remember, it's to have a couple games where you can do that. Alright, we're at 315, everyone. Oh, gotta get more blue ones. Uh oh. Alright, 339. Going into Western Zone now. Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. I couldn't see where the cursor was for a second. I kind of blended in with everything. Alright, 444. I think this is our return trip now to the space zone. Last chance to rack up a couple more points. Who's ready for me to end with like 499? I just jinxed it, didn't I? Oh, we passed 500, everyone. I think we're done. I think we're good. And it's still going, too. Oh, two away from 550. You win two bleeping prices. A primitive paper thing. Okay. Well, I'm happy we didn't have to do that too many times. And the shiny gold thing. Friday the 13th is rough. You have to beat it three times. Jason comes back to life twice. Cool. Which one should we collect first, everyone? Nice. All right, one more page and we can go unlock that new cheat. So that's that. I don't think there's any reason to play that again. Mm, where are we going next? What else did we unlock? Um. Oh, oh, yes. Inside this building over here. Friday the 14th is hard. Speaking of Rare, have you tried any Battletoads games? Oh yeah, I've beat Battletoads. I made a whole 50 minute rant about Battletoads. Be sure to check that out. Uh, Battletoads Double Dragon's an awesome game though. Definitely play that. I'm not going back to Mother and there's nothing you can do. Do we have to like destroy him? <laughs> I'm off to find Mom and she'll tell me. There you go. There's another one to find though. So that guy, I think you have to carry him back, but you don't learn the ability to do that until later. Don't you get to go in here? Um. Oh, 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 really? You need to go get the, the van? Like that's mean because you have to get the van to unlock Mumbo, bring Mumbo to open this door, and then go get the van back to open more doors? Like that's just the most ridiculous padding I think I've ever seen. <laughs> but I guess that's what we'll do. Collect the- <laughs> right? Oh, we had that problem in the, in the last level, Boomer Bear. After I beat Canary Mary the first time, I didn't pick up the Jiggy and did it again. And then when the, the Cheeto page dropped, I thought that the, the Jiggy was gone. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't. But yeah, Friday the 13th, um, A Nightmare on Elm Street is rare. Rareware. I like The Nightmare on Elm Street. That's another one, you know, the ABGN reviewed, but it's not actually not that bad. Yeah, there's the other uh, brother. He's like down the side here. But I think we have to pick him up in Banjo's backpack. And I don't think you learn about that until like level five. <laughs> there you go. Is 
Was the backtracking worse in this game or Donkey Kong 64? So in Donkey Kong 64, you have the five different Kongs. Each you have items you can only pick up as them. I think we probably have to go get Banjo before we can do this, right? Yeah. So <laughs> gotta go back again. Um, in this game, though, you also have five different states. You have Banjo-Kazooie together, Banjo alone, Kazooie alone, Mumbo, and the Wumba transformation. Now, I don't think you have to use, you know, those as much as, say, you know, Chunky Kong has five golden bananas, plus a hundred green bananas, plus the coins, plus the move, um, you know, and each Kong is the same. So I think the, the amount that you have to, like, you essentially have to play each level five times in Donkey Kong 64. So it's not as bad in 2 but it's it's still very noticeable in places. Yes, Boomer Bear, yes. And we, and we even had to give him, like, another hamburger on top of that. <laughs> Diego. Uh, alrighty. Let's get back and do that challenge. Mrs. Boggy was even okay with Banjo doing that. Alright, so we got three rounds of this thing to do. There'll be collectibles to pick up, and guess what colors they are! And guess how much they're worth! Yeah, there's a lot of minigames in this level. <laughs> 60 points worth of Twinklies. And there you go. Whenever you see blue and green, get them. I love like the you know the booing or like the whoa whenever you actually do something. Like it's not even that big of a deal, he's just chasing me. It'd be worse if he was like picking up the collectibles, but just being behind me isn't actually that big of a problem. This is very easy. But as you saw, there's three rounds of this, so maybe it'll get more difficult. What is it like? One more? Was it 50 or 60? Regardless, we're done. And this is another mini game that becomes a multiplayer thing, and that's where it's really fun. You're playing against other people, seeing how much you can collect. You can feel the DK64 DNA in this game, right? DK64 was a year after Tui, right? Like I think Tui, I think Tui was before DK64. But yeah, let's do that for Rareware. Uh, I need to make a list of Rareware Thursday stuff. Um, nuts and bolts, ukulele. <laughs> Star Fox Adventures, DK64, um, Banjo-Kazooie Warped or whatever that one was called. So many games we can do. How many uh, Rareware games did they end up releasing for the original Xbox? I know it was Conquer Live and Reloaded. Uh, grabbed by the Ghoulies. Was Blinks Rareware or not? I don't think it was. I know there's like Blinks 1 and 2. Those games always looked interesting. They seem kind of like, uh, you know, old school-ish styled platformers before that genre got wiped off the map. Again, this is just like, the, the fact that now that there's two of them chasing me instead of just one doesn't actually make this any more difficult. I thought they more- I thought they went more out of the way to collect the things. I didn't think they just kind of chased you the whole time. Diddy Kong Racing Boomer Bear. I love Diddy Kong Racing. Definitely a good candidate. I've always wanted Mario Kart to be more like Diddy Kong Racing. Give me an overworld map. Give me collectibles. You know, there's just more than menus and four, uh, four track cups is what I'd love to see from Mario Kart. But yeah, uh, driving around the island, or, you know, vehicles too, like airplanes and stuff. Like, D Donkey, uh, Diddy Kong Racing had more variety back then than, like, Mario Kart still has today. It's crazy. Okay, so this one might be a little more difficult. Three of them now. <laughs> I mean, okay, maybe it's still not that bad. Oh, I, I totally touched that one. And these, like, so, I mean, that's how bumper cars work. They, like, jam you into the corner. And sometimes you can't get out. 
I'm working on it. There's like no blue ones. They're all green. Oh, there you go. Do I need 60? I might need like a couple more still. All right, we're good. Hey, there you go. That was pretty easy. Your <laughs> Diddy was a bad man. <laughs> Once again, the good old DKC extra life balloon colors. That's so true, Boomer Bear. That's a really good comparison to make. No blinks, no blinks isn't good. That's that's unfortunate to hear. All right. Can you? I thought I could, there was a way to get rid of the crosshairs. There you go. Nice shot of a spinning jiggy. Uh, DK was before Banjo Tooie, really. Getting my my years all mixed up. Interesting. I'm told the race against TikTok the clock is hard in Diddy Kong Racing. That Diddy Kong Racing was easily just as good, if not. No, I would take Diddy Kong Racing over Mario Kart 64 any day. And where does that leave us in terms of collectibles? One more jiggy, one more Cheeto page, and that's it. Do I remember what those are? <laughs> and we still have to go back to, to Madam Grunty like 450 more times to get the cheat. What are the last jiggy? Oh, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, oh, the one from Miss Boggy. But that's right, I don't think we can do that yet. Where's the last Cheeto page? Is there a Cheeto page from the balloon minigame? Extra eggs. Oh, why does she close so quick? Yeah, I'm not sure what else to do. Like, is it something I can do yet? I think we did everything over there. Hmm, one more Cheeto page. There's no flying in this area, huh? This level has a, a lot of weird things to it. Only, like, hardly any water. No flying pad. People are welcome to remind me if there's anything I'm forgetting. There's a door up there, but you can't even get up there until uh, you have the boots to do so. Hmm. Oh, look at that, Wyoshi. Win in track, backtrack later. Or win in doubt, backtrack later. Welcome, Wyoshi. Hope you're having a great night. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a thing, of, uh, thing about this game. You're going to be coming back to these places anyway. I'd love to get that one more Cheeto page, though, because then we could go and unlock that next cheat, which I would love to do. Hopefully in addition to this one, which we'll unlock any minute now. Yeah, Ms. Boggy is the last Jiggy for sure. But have I missed a Cheeto page anywhere? Did I like thoroughly explore inside this place? I don't think there was a Cheeto page in here. Let's do a quick roundabout anyway. I don't think I would spend much time around this thing. We need to wait for Madame Grunties to reopen anyway. So that's the thing about Minjos, is they change color every time. And it's a good giveaway that it's a fake one if uh, it ends up being a color of you know all the Jinjos you've already found. In that case, still missing a lot of the black ones because there's nine of those. There's quite a few. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. You think I didn't finish a challenge in the Crazy Castle minigame? Uh, did I need to... Oh, do I need to go back into the to the Kazooie one again? We can do that. Yeah, that's the thing about this game. Sometimes you gotta do things like twice to, to get a thing. That makes sense. But since we're here anyway, is it just like a time thing? Like if I just wait here, will she open up again? I'm pretty sure 500 plus in UFO is one Cheeto. Yeah, Wayoshi, uh, we did the we did the UFO stuff. We got the one from the UFO, and there was one inside a door in the Inferno that we got. We win a beating! <laughs> Alright. You know, Banjo could just beat the uh, Grunty up right now and this game could be over. 
And some gold feathers. Actually, I think we were missing like one. So that's good. The dunk tank. Yeah, we were inside the dunk tank. There was some notes in there. Extra fire eggs. Yeah, we'll definitely go back and check the castle, though. Extra fire eggs. Again. Fire eggs are like the least used egg. <laughs> you win extra grenade eggs. Exactly, RC Shaggy, yes. All right. This is the most uh, exciting part of the stream. I should put a counter or something for how many times we've tried. It's amazing that the main villain of the game just appears casually in a level like this, uh, Boomer Bear. Again, I love that about uh, you know games like Banjo Kazooie. They're just so non, they're, just, they're so nonchalant about everything. It's a hilarious time. So if I go back to these guys now, they'll give me more food. It's okay, you can come back and get as much food as you want, which is good to know. When she means extra eggs, it's just a refill, right? Yeah, definitely, they could have worded that better. The real extra eggs will come if we can find that last Cheeto page. And we can go trade that in for the next cheat, which I believe is more eggs. Is there anything else in this area? I think we got everything here. Like, let's climb back up this guy. I don't think there's anything else we can reach from up here. A beating counter says damn. I think we're good for here. We've done the things on both sides there. There's also uh, Woomba's uh, wigwam. I know everyone would hate if I had to go back and see her again. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we checked everything there. Oh, whoa, it's the white ginger, everyone. We did it. There you go. Oh, wrong side. Oh, just in time. Nothing I can reach from up here, is there? But yeah, you're right. There might be a Cheeto page for doing the ring game. I did comment on how, like, the threshold was really low for the rings. So maybe you do it a second time and it's actually a challenge. Cobra Triangle! Yeah, another Rare Rare game. It's the, it's the hardest NES game Rare game you've played. And Cobra Triangle's crazy. No, she didn't make any comment about any additional prizes. So unless there are additional prizes and she's just not saying anything. But that's really nasty if it forces you to beat your high score. And on like the first time, you did like really well. <laughs> so now you have to beat this ridiculous high score. Because I did do really well on the balloon one the first time. And this one, what did I get, 50? It is a little tough to fit to the rings sometimes. Ooh, luckily these nice balloons. No, don't disappear! I, don't, I didn't even go through that one, but I'll take it. Is that a new record? Congratulations! Your best score for the Hoop Hurry Challenge is now 56! But it did not do anything. Hmm. Yeah, it is nice splitting up. I just wish it didn't reduce their health. Like, you know, suddenly being left with two health as Kazooie is not super fun. Like, how much health did I have total? See, like, just because I'm missing two health combined, you know, that should mean one off from Kazooie and one off from Banjo, not just, like, outright two missing from Kazooie. Um, so yeah, I feel like the, the way that they did the health when you're split up could have been a little better, but it is what it is. Alright, what else am I not thinking for a Cheeto page, then? Unless it is the balloon game, I don't think it is. But, I mean, there are four things on top of the castle. So that could leave one for a, for a Cheeto page. Oh, I checked that. 
Wayoshi. We, we went through that whole dark area. Um, but we will go back and look again. Does that even lead to the... No, that doesn't lead to the train. Let's go in here. People always credit flying through rings as a Superman 64 thing. It goes all the way back to Dire Dire Docks and Mario 64. Did I miss something in here somewhere? With like the really bad... Lighting? Like what is this guy flying around? Can I beat you? Oh, they don't seem to do anything. Is there like a platform like off to the side that you can barely see? We got fi Okay, so I was just mentioning how useless fire eggs are. Oh! Oh. Wait, so how do you get to that? So yeah, they, they hid something in this extremely dark janky That is a Cheetah page I don't remember at all. I don't- <laughs> I have no recollection of, like, ever finding that, so that's funny. Huh. Now, uh, well hidden, though, I have to say. I like when my items are well hidden. The question is- oh, maybe I need to- mm, I think maybe I need- Oh, oh! I, I- I commented about how you always have to be looking for these ledges. And yet I completely missed this one. Wow! So there was a purpose to that dead end. That's funny. And there you go. And that is enough for the next Cheeto Cheat. Oh, we got uh, Christian as well. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Christian. Thank you. I've mentioned before, you know, I've beat this game, so I don't mind a, a nudge here and there. So thanks, everyone. Well hidden, though. Again, I like a well hidden item, so thumbs up to Rare on that one. Unlike the notes in the freaking Mayhem Temple, where it's like all 100 of them are in a straight line. The teeth everywhere look like something that would be in a Metroid game. Extra eggs! Beating! So I like Rentilda's new sisters. I think that they're they're fine characters. I thought they were cool additions to the game. Did you miss the secret one out of five hundred cheat, Big Phil? No, don't worry. We're on like try number forty right now, and this is like our t out of the forty tries. This is like our twentieth beating. How about the one in the train area, Block Frog? In the train area, uh, we didn't find any items in there. We did find the switch to open up the train, though. And we bought the we brought the train to Witchy World so that the dinosaur could get on it. I think all that's left, aside from this cheat, is the boggy jiggy that we can't get until we learn how to pick up stuff with our backpack. Yeah, otherwise it's looking pretty complete. So here we go. Gripping the edge block frog. Right, I mentioned how, uh, you know, that's used like every 10 seconds in this game. Gold feathers. Give it up for gold feathers. You got bit by a goose. I know someone who, uh, who went to Vietnam and got bit by a monkey, and they had to get a tetanus shot, so... Honestly, being bit by a goose doesn't sound too bad compared to that. Gotta watch out for those monkeys. But okay... Uh, what <laughs> so that's like, hmm, what do we do while we wait for Gruntilda to reopen here? So yeah, Witchy World! Not a bad level. Looks like it took us about two hours there. It's like this main hub area, and there's like the four kinds of sides do it. Very interesting stuff. You need a, need a later ability to do the polar bear quest. Yes. 33% of beating, says Christian. Oh no. Did I miss the super secret cheat that you need to do something complicated, says Daniel. Well, I think, uh, are you referring to the one in here? And hopefully she'll open up again any moment. Um. Oh. Uh, happy that uh, it wasn't too bad, Boomer Bear. 
All right, Grunty, come on, do us a solid here and just give us the cheat. Extra eggs, heck yeah. Next world, or you could still do the, yeah, I think what's gonna happen tonight. Uh, the next world is gonna be a pretty massive one. Plus it's like all swimming. Oh, we're down to three health. We'll see how, we'll see how much longer this takes. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna need to go find some health refills. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've had a death yet in this game. It's currently still a no death run. And it's always fun to see just how long we can keep that up for. Even though it probably won't last the whole game, but we'll see. What do people think of no death runs? you find them entertaining, interesting? Would you like me to do more stuff like that? No death runs, no damage runs? If it's like a game I know really well, I've gone out of my way in the past to do stuff like that. Like, I've beat Star Tropics 1 and 2. No damage. That was years ago. Like, that was before the internet, before it was all about streaming stuff. It was just me... <laughs> me playing games and having fun. Jolly Roger Bay, um, RC Shaggy. It's not funny how there's Jolly Roger Lagoon and Jolly Roger Bay. They were really obsessed with Jolly Roger in the N64 days. Which is not even what it was called in the Japanese version of 64. I think it's like Pirate Bay. But uh, everyone just thinks Jolly Roger. <laughs> Pirates and Jolly Roger are synonymous, I guess. No death runs sound interesting. Uh, I've accidentally done a few of those on my channel. I think when we beat Shadow of the Ninja, that ended up being a no death run, right? Yay, another beating. Watch, there's a glitch in the 360 version where it won't unlock or something. Extra hold. The, the text was nice and big. I'm like, oh, this has got to be a good message. It was just freaking fire eggs. Pirate Bay meets the website. I forgot all of Wow. Yeah. That's a uh, good old one. That's, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Super Tom Brothers. No, oh, why does it have to close? I feel like clip back in the side or something. But yeah, let's see here. Um, what have we got going on? And so all the fries and burgers that you pick up, it's weird that it gives you five of them. Oh wait, the wrong one. Like five fries. Like, why would you ever need so many fries? <laughs> Unless it's literally just like five like individual fries that they give you. But they also give you five burgers. I could I could go for that. Give me five burgers any day. Jolly Roger Lagoon is your favorite level in this game. Has a lot of depth to it. Yeah, I'm really excited for Jolly Roger Lagoon. It's a big one though. But I thought Witchy World was gonna be bigger too. And it ended up being like not too bad. Let me see on here. Can I get a uh, counter set up easy enough? How do you add stuff to OBS? Last time I tried to do funky things with OBS, I like gave up my credit card number or whatever it was. Uh, I don't like messing with it when we're in the middle of a stream. Me and technology don't mix. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Doing some red feathers. Probably RC Shaggy. We'll see, though. We'll see. Red feathers. And then it closes again. Which world is the one where you murder two ice cubes, says Super Tom Brother? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But it's amazing, though. It just shows you the depth of this game, where, you know, we spent nearly, like, two hours on this level, and that's probably enough in the original game to get, like, five levels done. So it's amazing the the difference in length. Can you just add like a text? Text.
Oh, there, there's text at the top. Okay. How many times do you think we've done it now? Like 55? <laughs> that sounds about right. Is that showing up properly for everyone? Lynch's tent is now reopened. Actually, it might, it might even be more than 55. Another beating, yeah! How much health do I have? Alright, we're still good. Another one, yeah! Wait. <laughs> and then it closes up again. Congratulations, you win a beating, right? Yeah, whoever thought this was a good idea, like a good way to, to hide a cheat is evil. Jolly Rancher's Bay is the Mario 64 level. Why they are named almost the same? Right? Yeah, the Lagoon. I always get confused too. Lagoon is the Tui one, and Bay is the Mario one. Again, like, I don't know why everyone was so obsessed with Jolly Roger back then. Loot! The Great Andrew's back with his Xbox 360, right? It's a console you don't see me playing too much. And yeah, I've been loving it. I've been loving the, uh, the HD versions of Banjo-Kazooie 1 and 2. Really excited for Nuts and Bolts. Again, I, I, I know nothing about that game pretty much, so... I'm kind of really hyped to see if it's just as bad as everyone makes it out to be, but I mean, everyone made Silver Surfer out to be like the most difficult game ever made. And that was honestly not the worst. Exactly, RC Shaggy. It's so confusing. A meeting! <laughs> Another one. Alright, where am I here? How many times did I do it since the last time I updated? Like, 59? Extra grenade eggs. Heck yeah. <laughs> Stop closing after like two tries. It was only there was something to do to, you know, keep you occupied while it took, uh, you know, three hours to open back up again. Get to enjoy the sights of Witchy World here. If only there was a way to, again, we had a Jiggy in the last level that you can't get until you get the spring shoes. And a Jiggy in this level you can't get until you learn a move. Like, why they always dangle those Jiggies, you know, uh, in front of you like that? And leave it so you have to come back is silly. I thought that for the first level you had to go back and use a move to get that statue, that gold statue which gave us a Jiggy. But apparently you can just tiptoe across that and not wake him up. Similar to the snake one. So that means there's two Jiggies in the first level that you get by just tiptoeing, which is kind of weird. But, um... But yeah, so apparently you don't have to backtrack to beat the first level, but the second and third ones you do, which is odd. You hope Dream can eventually come out. Captain Black Guy deserves a comeback. I don't, uh, so I don't even think Rare, Rare, Rare knows, like, where the, the Dream beta ended up. But that would be cool if it ended up out there someday. I love betas and prototypes. I've always wanted to own one. I don't even care what it is. If it was, like, uh... <laughs> you know, the mutant virus beta or something, that'd be funny. But it's, yeah, anything, uh, any prototype cartridge would be so neat. You have a counter, right? Right, Block Frog? And the fact, uh, I didn't mention that, I don't think I've been updating it. <laughs> it may or may not be extremely accurate, but give or take a little bit. Yay, red feathers! If she just didn't close for no freaking reason! There's no reason for it! No beatings that time though, really, I don't think. And in DKC there's Polyrock. Reminds you of the good old days, the death counters in those late night Mario games. Oh, Boomer Bear, those playthroughs, yes. Mario 3 that I did that one night, and then Mario World with Miles Luigi. And uh, the, the co-op Mario 64 stream we did, or the playthrough we did, was still one of my favorite things. I love that. Such a cool, 
hack. That I don't think has gotten really much attention from, from other people. So it was really neat to do a full playthrough of that with Miles Luigi. But yeah, right? <laughs> it does say that the country is kind of like that. Ooh, we're at 64 for Nintendo 64. You interrupted Grandma during your subs. <laughs> Super Tom Brother, I hope that's not what you mean by, uh, by Grunty being like your grandmother. I'm so sorry. Hey, Red Feathers. Where's my counter? Hey! Red feathers! Whoa, we didn't have any of those before. <laughs> Incredible. There's a 25% uh, chance she needs to be like, oh, it's so silly. Gives us a chance to go beat up on these guys, though, I guess. Play the roulette. It also gives us a chance to use up a couple of grenade eggs so that if Grunty at least gives us those, we can be happy. Ooh, it's the exclamation mark one's always nice. So what number does everyone think we're going to unlock that? Place your bets now. Maybe I should make a poll. That's what I can be doing while she's refurbishing. Making a poll. Uh, so I guess the poll would only be on YouTube, so you'd have to be viewing it on there. <laughs> mm, how do I make a poll again? I haven't done it in a while. Start a poll! Almost ready. That's all I can do. I, I hope it does not take more than 200. <laughs> I got before 100, 100 to 150. I guess it should really be 101 to 150. 151 to 200. 200 plus. Place your bets. Extra grenade eggs. Well, I actually kind of needed those, so there you go. One second here. Getting all thrown out of the whack, trying to do fancy things on stream. All I know how to do is press buttons on a controller. Oh, another one. Beautiful. It is all, it is all luck, yes. What do we got? You win heavy? <laughs> All right, 70. Energy bar refill. Well, she's going to beat me up. At least refill. Oh. 71 or something. All right, how's the poll doing? Let's have a look. We got 29% think before 100. The majority thinks 100 to 150 at 43%. No one thinks 151 to 200. Just a big void right there. And we got 29% to 200 plus. But seven votes, everyone. Very nice. I mean, yeah, the whole refurbishing thing is really silly. It's like, why couldn't they just let you try as many times as you want? Also, like in Banjo-Kazooie, I believe that once you beat this game, uh, it once again acknowledges that, uh, you know, the game's been beaten, you can't refight the final boss. So how that factors into to Grunty being in there, like, I think you can still do this even after you beat the boss of the game, but <laughs> again, it's better to do it now, probably. Watch, the last time I went out of my way to do something before I needed to, I did those bottles bonus puzzles kind of halfway through the game, and that resulted in, you know, unfathomable havoc. Hopefully this does not also break something. We almost had a scary moment earlier when I turned on that homing cheat. Oh my gosh. And uh, it made the, the boss fight a little more difficult. You ran to crunches. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget that we unlocked this. 
Mm. There you go. We can just How many times can we do this before Grunty reopens her tent? Uh, that was a thing that we unlocked as a result of the stop and swap egg. So for anyone who wants to see all about the uh, the unused stop and swap feature from Banjo Kazooie, that was the first thing we did on stream today. And after I, you know, after we're done here and I timestamp everything, I'll be sure to you know note where that part was so you can go back and check that out. I think every time she closes her tent, she's getting another broom in order. <laughs> Whenever she breaks one, she's got to get a new one out. How many beatings so far? Or do we need like a separate beating counter? Does anyone have an estimate on how many beatings there have been? If we could do like a separate, like, like beatings. Like how many beatings do you think it was at this point? I think, think half of them have been beatings? Like 25, is that a good estimate? Should this be like a little smaller? No, not, not that. How do you change the font size? Oh, I probably just change it by like resizing the thing. Let me know if it's too big, too small. <laughs> oh boy. Extra fire eggs. Thing like that, maybe. That was 74. That's crazy, RC Shaggy. Hopefully I have health. I haven't been checking. Oh, please don't tell me that's a death. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're still good. Right, that's two. That's, that's a counter for beating and a counter for the counter overall. All right, grenade eggs. Perfect. Hey! All right. Now that I want to go get some health, now she's not closing. Oh, red feathers. So I think the counter is uh, explanatory enough. The left one is total. The right one is our presumed beating counter. Ah, there you go. Now I do- Wow, so yeah, now she closes. So, Alright, gives us a chance to do this. Ooh, no drop. Where's another one? unsuspecting slot machine. The, the one nice thing about enemies respawning in this game. But they don't drop health every time though, which again is weird. Alright, this is the exclamation mark one. Perfect. And there you go. Simple as that. What have we got here? The chi has only 1%, so it's gonna take a while. Um, what's there? Mm-hmm. Not big enough. You want it to fill the whole screen, says Christian? Oh, no, 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 I'm looking. Christian, this is all your fault. I blame you on both those damages. Any deaths hereafter will be all your fault. Oh. <laughs> Not even at 100 yet, though. So, we'll see. It'll probably take all 500, won't it? Oh no, again? Alright, Christian, you want the counter to be as big as the screen? Enjoy. Oh, no drop on that one. Oh. 
Did it say something on the back of the slot machine? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. This guy's not even, like, in his position. You're supposed to be standing over there. How close can I shoot you to get the, the homing effect to kick in? I didn't mean to actually hit him. Ooh, the question mark one. Are you ready for some truly random shenanigans? Ah, it could have been worse. All right, now I have to actually try and fix this, Christian. Look what you made me do. Oh god, I hear it coming back. I'm playing with what I- I'm watching the stream in OBS while I'm resizing the count- the, the, the text at the top. <laughs> okay. Back to sanity. Before going insane from doing this another 40 times. Hey, red feathers! There you go. Uh, so yeah, enemies do respawn in this game, and that's different from Banjo 1, where they do not unless you leave the level. Hey! Red feathers, whoops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, come on, Grunty. Do us a favor here. Energy bar refill. Well, it could be worse. Where, where am I here? Oh, not again. I see there were some questions in the chat, though. Stop and Swap was always humorous thing because you read the N64 manual, not the Banjo-Kazooie manual, but the N64 manual, and it says to turn the N64 off before removing a game or inserting another Boomer Bear. So my understanding of Stop and Swap was that the earlier models of the N64 console held some data in RAM for about 30 seconds after a console was turned off. So there was this data that would kind of just be held in RAM, and it wouldn't disappear for about 30 seconds after the console was switched off. And it was Rare's idea that that's where the stop and swap data would be kept, so that then if you put in the Banjo-Tooie cartridge fast enough, it would still be able to read from that RAM that had not yet disappeared, even after the console was shut off properly. Later revisions of the N64, however, changed that so that the RAM was uh, cleared almost instantly after a shutoff, Thus, the whole concept of stop and swap wouldn't have worked as originally intended um, for the majority, you know, for anyone who bought a 64 after that point. And that's why it was scrapped altogether, because, you know, you can't have a feature that I guess only some people can use. While I know it was uh, a common thought that stop and swap would work without ever turning the console off and just putting one game in after another, but I don't think that was actually, uh, that was actually ever true. Ah, oh, closed again. You got a beating count too, Boomer Bear, you bet. Oh, as, as the worlds go on, the, the counter goes faster. Yeah, I definitely noticed that there's times when it goes faster than that. You love it, Christian, good. Um, have you played Donkey Kong Land games? Not on stream. Personally, yes. I even have the Japanese exclusive color version of the third one. But, uh, do I, 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 I uh, haven't played those in a long time. Definitely play those again at some point. Last time I played uh, those games was probably when I did like a random game of the day of the first one at some point. And even then, that would have just been like the first world or two. Okay, question time. Yeah, look at that. That was the hard one to do. All right, here we go. Energy bar! <laughs> Not again. Alright, let's see how the poll is doing. For the poll, we got 27% still holding hope that in the next, like, 11 tries we'll get it. I'm with you, I hope that we do. 
majority still thinks 100's a 150 at 45%. 151 still has zero votes. Well, 200 plus, we've got 27%. That's a scary thought. Watch, they, they probably took this out for the 360 version. We'll be here forever. You get so much done during these streams, True Seed. I love having something on in the background while you're working. Um, and let's go on a baseball rant. So, there's been this thing in sports recently that they think, oh, people don't like long sports games, so we gotta reduce the time of everything. So they added a pitch clock counter into baseball to theoretically speed up the game. And it does seem to have done that, but I'm someone who always liked to have baseball on in the background while I'm working on stuff, so if a baseball game goes on for like four hours, that's great to me, as I just like having it on off to the side. You know, occasionally checking in on what the score is, if there's people on base, who's up the bat or whatever. I have no interest in the baseball game that lasts, like, two hours. I like the longer ones. And also, you know, if you're gonna make the effort to, to travel downtown to a baseball game, it's not fun going downtown. Uh, you gotta make, like, a whole day out of it. You don't just want to go down there for, like, a two-hour game and then head back home, and that was kind of what I felt when I went to a game last year, the first year that the pitch clock was introduced. Uh, you know, it's just, it just felt like it flew by so fast. There's hardly any time to, you know, explore the stadium and just enjoy yourself a little bit. This feels like everything's kind of flying by. So I don't know, I don't feel that there was really a need to try and shorten baseball games, but... You know, some high-up manager guy who's probably never actually watched the baseball game in his life thought it was a good idea. That's how it is these days, right? Management has, like, nothing to do with, you know, the video game company. The, you know, the CEO never actually plays video games, or... Probably the same for the guy who runs baseball as well. Alright, but speaking of which, we're getting our butt handed to us here. You didn't know, a chan uh, know the chance of getting the Cheeto page was that small. So it's not a Cheeto page we're after. It's like she literally just tells us a cheat code that we can then go and enter in the cheat room, which is kind of cool. And yeah, otherwise, you never get this cheat anywhere else, and I don't think you can enter it before she tells you. It says big prize on the back. Not gonna see that unless it's HD. No, oh, that did not help. What else can we do? Try this guy. Oh, see the homing effect on that one? I totally missed. Okay, okay, okay. We are in danger mode, everyone. We gotta, we gotta get some health and fast. <laughs> oh god, no. Okay, okay. Where's the enemies here? But he didn't drop any health, and I'm afraid of enemies respawning while I'm like looking away. No, I hear that. I hear that. Yes! Homing attack for the win. Okay. It can't get any worse. It could get better, though. Um, let's try another one. I like the exclamation mark ones much more. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Well, still a question mark, but... Hopefully we can go up. All right, good enough. Yeah, the GPC port of uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 is very interesting. Uh, and I did a random game of the day once of the exclusive level to that version, in the uh, SNES version of the game, the last world only has five levels, where all of the later worlds in DKC had six, except for that one for some reason. But in the GBC version, they added a Neki Nutmare as a level to the final world, and I played through that whole Game Boy Color version just to get to that level to try it out. Um, and it was okay. <laughs> I think I had like one bonus game to find in it too. But yeah, 
Um, Donkey Kong Country on GBC is very interesting. I think the Donkey Kong Land games are really cool, though. They're like their own thing. It's not just levels meant to be like the ones from the original. You know, they're kind of their own thing, but especially Donkey Kong Land 1. That game is nothing like the original, which is cool. Like, a, you know, original Donkey Kong Country. Finish painting a figure and now working on your next comic block. I'm so happy to hear that people can watch this in the background and have a good time. Um, <laughs> we're getting, uh, getting close to 100 tries for this thing, though. 35 beatings. So that, that's really in line with it being about a 33% chance of getting uh, the old heave-ho. Five more, though, till we're at 100. Extra eggs. Oh, stop it! Stop! Yeah, I don't do much stuff in video games that involves luck. Like, I don't do much shiny hunting. What, what are some other big video game luck moments? I just gotta keep trying until you get it. The Amazing Daisy and Mario, Mario Paper Edition is another good one. I like how it looks like it's open, but the, the door has bad draw distance. DK Land 1 even adds new enemies that appear nowhere else. It, it's such an oddball, right? Kind of like how Mario Land 1 is pretty oddball. Doesn't have uh, much that really appears anywhere else in the series. Still need to play the DK, the, the GBA port of DKC3. Yeah, the GBA ports were cool. They each kind of added more things in. I beat G... Uh, what's it called? Um, DKC2 on the GBA. I always thought of doing a Let's Play of the third one. Because it has that extra world that was never in the original game. Maybe we'll stream that at some point too. Why not, right? Like a whole new world that wasn't in the original game. That's pretty cool. All right, one more try till oh, till 100. But of course. Max Howard, you can't beat Grunty's Furnace Fun. What's giving you trouble? Just um, just the trivia tripping you up? You would always just get jokers and use them to skip the skull spaces in that. That's what we did in our run for sure. Uh, it's definitely easy to, to kind of rack up some jokers. Um, if you want, you know, look at my playthrough. I think the path that I take is the easiest one. I regret not uh, not taking a more difficult one, just for the funds, but it is what it is now. I've always wished you could replay that. I don't think that uh, Banjo-Kazooie gives you an option to copy your file, does it? Just copy a file so that it's always at Grunty's Furnace Fun so you can play it over and over and over again. But last try, everyone. Do you think 100 is a magical number and we'll unlock it? I'm kind of concerned though, because if it is this one, both options, there's like 50 to 100 and then 100 to 150, so, you know, both options would technically be right if this ends up being the try. Oh, it's not. So, there you go. One hundo. One hundo one. One oh two. <laughs> there you go. We've been a while since we got our last one, so I guess we were due. Hey, as long as you don't close the door, I don't care. Ooh, we've been really lucky this time. We're into more of a rhythm now, you know? This is going pretty well. Until she closes it and ruins all her fun. 
in before refurbish uh, Boomer Bear. I think that was a good, uh, you know, seven tries without her doing the, the refurbishment, which was nice. The hardest part of Grunty's Furnace Fun is the randomly chosen answers to the, to the Grunty questions. During our last playthrough of it, we didn't talk to Brent Tilda once. Um, so we had some good guesses for the Gruntilda questions. The worst part is if, like, a uh, skull space ends up being a Gruntilda question and you don't know it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you take a hit or two. You can usually just get it after a few guesses. But yeah, RC Shaggy, we're over 100 now. Now, the timer challenges. Yeah, you really want to make sure you have, uh, you know, maxed out gold feathers for those. And just, you know, for the B1, gold feathers. The TNT box one, gold feathers. New music in DKC3. Yeah, that's an interesting one. It's not that the music is worse in the GBA version. It's just really hard to adapt to it after being so uh, used to the SNES version to then go play the, the GBA one. But okay. Gold feathers. There you go. Well, darn it, Crunchy. Darn it. You voted for 150 to 200 if you're right. You're probably winning at being the super top brother. Oh boy. Uh, what are we doing health wise here? Come on, hurry up before my Xbox 360 overheats in red rings. So that was a big reason why I didn't buy an Xbox 360 back in the day, despite the fact it looked so fun. All my friends were playing it. Um, you know, it was, it was hard listening to them all talking about going home and playing games online. And being like the only person that was left out of that because everyone else had a 360 back then. Uh, it, it seemed like such a cool console. But there's no way I could have enjoyed playing games worrying the whole time that if I played too long or played too much or whatever, it was going to overheat and red ring. Because every single one of those friends who I knew growing up who had a 360 had at least one red ring experience that caused them to have to send their console into Microsoft. Some had more than that, um, which was crazy. I'm playing with the Slim right now, the, the second edition of the 360, which is a, uh, apparently more reliable. But uh, why, am I, why am I saying these words? It's the kiss of death. It's the kiss of freaking death. You just know we're going to like get the cheat and then it's instantly going to break or something. One of my, my most traumatizing childhood memories is when I beat Adventure Mode in Super Smash Bros. Melee uh, with um, on hard without any continues and you get the Giga Bowser trophy for doing that so I beat Giga Bowser I think it had said that I got the trophy or something or no maybe I saw the credits but basically I, I did it I was done and just as it was loading the screen like after I beat the game it crashed and said disc read error please take it out and put it back in and it didn't have a chance to save yet so I had to beat the whole thing again um, and you know as a kid that was pretty tough so I was like oh um, so, you know, I've, I'm used to, to situations like that, I guess, but it's not so fun. Yeah, no problem, Marcy Shaggy. Um, I don't think we're doing another level at this point. We're all in on the cheat now. Because we're going we're gonna to get this cheat. We're going to go turn in our Cheeto pages for that cheat. And it will end with an extremely exciting trip to the code room. For us to enter all of our well-earned codes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Extra grenade eggs. Energy bar refill. So for anyone who might just be joining and not be familiar with what we're trying to do here, there's a there's a 1 in 500 chance that you can unlock an exclusive cheat code from going into this tent um, that you can't get in any other way. <laughs> so since we're pretty much done with this level, and I don't think I want to take on the next one right now, it's kind of a doozy, but also an awesome level. But I think it deserves to kind of be, uh, you know, get a fresh start on that one. I thought it'd be fun to try and get this cheat. 
but it is being stubborn and it does not help that she closes the door every couple times and makes you wait for her to reopen it again for no real good reason. Have I gotten any beatings and forgot to update the counter? We'll update it for one just in case. Too bad it closes. Yeah, that's the worst part, right? It just kind of wastes a bunch of time for no good reason. Let's see what the poll is looking like now. Um, people still left their vote on before 100. Maybe you can't change it after you vote, so they're forever stuck with their incorrect decision. But we got 38% at 100 to 150 still. We'll see if you're right. And no one feels 151 to 200. That's interesting. All right, it's just what we were looking for. <laughs> Who's watching over on Twitch? Anybody on Twitch right now? I need to get my, my average Twitch viewers up. Twitch keeps screaming at me. They're like, no one's watching your streams. It's like, yeah, well, I have an awesome group of people watching on YouTube, so screw you! But also, <laughs> if anyone wants to watch on Twitch, that's cool too. Again, I'm hoping that uh, by being on Twitch, you know, hopefully uh, the stream will be like recommended to people on there. And I know that Twitch does have a bit of a retro community. Probably more than YouTube has in terms of live streaming retro games. So I'm hoping that can help bring some awareness to the streams. Extra eggs. Well, no beatings anyway. And just don't close that door. Thank you. Oh. Extra eggs. But yeah, anyone who's just like watching this in the background while they work on other things, hope you're enjoying. And another beating. Hope you're getting lots of stuff done. Being super productive tonight. <laughs> as Banjo's getting beat up. But hey, the door didn't close, so that's nice. And another one. Up to 40 of them. Again, the numbers might be slightly off. <laughs> but we'll see. Extra fire eggs. And hopefully it doesn't end up like my childhood experience where I accidentally unlocked it and didn't realize it. And just kept going back in and out for no reason. Now what have we got going on here? Well, hello, uh, let's see. Oh. And some gold feathers. Let me see here. I haven't read the chat in a couple minutes because we're actually having a good run of uh, of things. But I see Max Howard, David Ray, thanks everyone so much for joining. I hope, uh, hope you're all having a great night. Extra fire eggs. I can't complain if she's not closing the door on us. Red feathers. Red feathers. Extra fire rates. <laughs> Getting repetitive here, Grunty. All right, there you go. And shut out. Can't wait for next time. The later worlds are much larger. Yeah, that's the thing about uh, Banjo Tooie. I, I I was really curious just how I would split it up when we started this project compared to the first one, where it's a lot more easier to gauge. You know, just about how long each level is going to take. Maybe next time we'll get two done, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things work out. <laughs> it depends on how well the levels go. Um, can you not just find the cheat code online, Max Howard? I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can enter the code until you learn about it. Yeah, why, Yoshi? That's a. It's a recent thing I've started uh, multi-streaming to there as well. Just thought uh, it might get the word out a little bit. But I love seeing everyone watching on YouTube, too. No, that's totally legit, Max Howard. Very good. I think it's harder in this game, Super Tom Brother, but then it's been a while since I've fought it. So we'll have to, we'll have to see in the moment.
You think they will add these games to the Switch? I always said I would play Banjo-Tooie if it got added to the Switch. Um, and then it, <laughs> it hasn't, but the opportunity to play it on the 360 came up instead, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, I hope that Tui does end up on the Switch someday. It's weird that they would add the first one. And you know, there's other games too, like add Battletoads to the NES online. It's a, it's sad that, uh, you know, the online releases are certainly slowing down. You know, remember uh, NES was getting you know, updates every month for a while there, and now you're lucky if you get like three new, S uh, three new NES games a, a year. The last NES games that they added to the North American Switch Online were like already on the Famicom Online for like years. And they just added them to the NES Online. No translation, no changes, no nothing. Which is just so weird. Like why all of a sudden do they decide to to add the Japanese games to the Switch Online as well? It's very strange. The North American one. Not sure what they were thinking there. You never knew Grunty's Revenge existed. Yeah, GBA game. Plays from like a top-down perspective. I remember it being fun, but I've only played through it once, so I have pretty much no memory of it. Like that on the GBA online? Oh, that would be good. That would be good. I would definitely play it then. Extra grenade eggs. Extra eggs. We're getting closer to 150. Red feathers. Grenade eggs. It's just the same things over and over again. And like, you don't need items in this game because they're so all over the place anyway. Gold feathers. That's a rarer one, but not quite what we're looking for. Hey, more gold <laughs> I say it's rare and we get it like twice in a row. And there you go. What happens when you go in with one health and win a beating? She will actually d destroy you outright. So you got to make sure you got health. Do I have health? Okay. Oh, we're only at three. I have not been paying attention to the health at all. All right. Oh, exclamation mark one. That's what we like to see. This is what uh, entertainment has come down to. Just staring at the items. I like how shiny they are in the original game. But, all right. This is, uh, you know, again, the, the game display version of shiny hunting. I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the, the, the B is for the number of times that we've gotten beatings. Just because people wanted a separate counter for that. Um, so yeah, watch as it now increases by one. <laughs> she closes up again. Shoot. Oh. Yeah, Battle Maniacs to SNES. That's true. Like, why not the original one? It's so all over the place. What they do. Come on, cheat. Drop already. Exactly, RC Shaggy. <laughs> True seed, it was suggested that she just takes her bony arm off and gives him a whack with it. Kind of like this. <laughs> nice. Any second. Let's see. What's the voting looking like? Anyone change their mind? 14 votes? Ooh, we got more with 200 plus. That's scary. You only have four options, or I would have added even more possibilities. Red feathers. 
This is going to be the longest part of the stream watch. This, this one thing is going to take longer than the whole rest of the stream. <laughs> and the timestamps will show that too. Oh no, don't do that. Where am I here? Um... Congratulations, you've received 100 messages today! Oh, because it's like a new day after midnight. <laughs> so we get to see that twice. That's funny. I like your bro. Oh, yeah, the broom suggestion actually, Shaggy, was good too. So she's got to go out and buy a new one every time. That's why she closes up shop. Can you defeat these guys with, like, not eggs? Or, like, grenade eggs is the only way to do it. Let me get on top of the house. Yeah, can you jump on signs? You can't really. Oh, you. Yeah, mm. No, you can't. Hmm. Oh, if you do it like instantly, you can. But otherwise, the game does not really want you. Oh, it does, it does allow you to stand on top of it. Look at that. <laughs> Take that. Give me your stupid cheat. Gold feathers. Extra eggs. Just don't close that door. It's all I care. Energy bar. Ugh. Let's see, can you do a whole lap around the tent? Is that, how, is that is that approximately how long it takes her to reopen? Is it a set time, or is it like a random, I wonder, before she reopens again? I would laugh if it's like the equivalent times of like one full loop. Oh, I guess we could be using that guy to get some health back too. Look at that, that guy was nasty. He was like predicting where we would be. And people talk about AI being this new thing. Man, AI's been in video games for like a bajillion years. Oh, we made it back in time. <laughs> it's getting close to your voted mark, RC Shaggy. 145. I should redo the question. How many beatings do you think we'll have when we finally unlock it? Oh. <laughs> oh, stop that. Ah. What else can we do? Let's see, let's go around the other way this time. It will be an interesting experiment to see like if she opens earlier, if she opens later. We made it back with plenty of time last time. Can you go on top of the fries thing? That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, things that we need to come back to this level for include the plunger shoes going up that wall. Um, the thing that we need to carry that bear back to Miss Boggy. And I think that's mainly it. Lyric Gulch Mine, we need to go back with the spring shoes to get... Uh, into that uh, hole with the jiggy as well. See, he planned where he was going to shoot that. That's that's tricky. Uh, there was a rock that we need to break with Kazooie once we learn a, a, a new attack. We saw one of those rocks outside this level as well. Can I check the... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Did that... Uh... <laughs> Hopefully that didn't mess up the stream. Something hit the, uh, the Elgato. Hurry up and wrap this up before everything breaks. <laughs> That's how you play Space Invaders. Don't shoot where they are, shoot where they will be, Super Tom Mother. Exactly. Fire eggs. <clears throat> oh no. Alright. Time to get some more HP. Time to get some more HP. There we go. 
<clears throat> so what upcoming levels everyone's still most excited to see? I think I've mentioned before what my favorite level is. But again, it's been a while <laughs> since I've 100 percent did that level, so we'll see if I regret it by the end. I'm a big factory fan, though. Everyone knows that. But you wanted me to check the slot machine enemies. In what regard? You wanted me to see what they said on the back? No, don't turn around. I mean, I think we have full health, but I want to do it. I want to do it. All right, now don't close this time. All right, 148, everybody. Oh, that's not good. One last try for 150. Oh, so close. And again, I don't think anyone voted for 151 to 200. Nope. Nope. No. I mean, you gotta glitch in there somehow. Everyone always forgets that this attack exists. Hopefully the beta testers did too. Maybe we can sneak in. <laughs> um, yeah, so you want me to check the what they said on the back. It was like wind big or something like that. It wasn't anything too exciting. Oh, not even facing the right direction. Don't forget about the bottles goggles where you can zoom in in this game. Big prize! There you go. Okay. We gotta be getting close now. Extra grenade eggs. Well, we were a little short on those. Couldn't even fill it up the full. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, RC Shaggy. Honeycombs of the Bee Lady. Oh, yeah. How many of those do we have at this point? She needed five, I think, for the next one, right? No, not totals. That is a great point. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you. I didn't think about that. So excited to go get new cheat codes. If we could just ever get this. But yeah, so there's still three things I want to do if we get this cheat. Enter the cheat codes. I'll do the honeycombs now. Thanks for the for the thought. And go unlock the next level. Uh, you know, we'll give the pieces to uh, King Jiggy Wiggy or whatever his name is. And yeah, we can unlock that. So we don't have to start the next stream with that. But as of now, it's just like... <laughs> Ugh. Grunty, why are you doing this to me? I'm, t I'm tempted to try and bring up uh, an emulator or something on the screen. Do I have on this laptop? We play like Mario, <laughs> Super Mario CD <laughs> while we wait. Oh, she's open again. If this takes much longer, I will look through my files and see what I can find. A meeting! Beautiful. Energy bar refill. And she's close to death. 
Did I update the beating counter after that last one? Maybe. I actually have two different original white Xbox 360 True Cena. One of the black slim ones and used to play for like seven hours and never had any red rings or problems with them. Nice. Were they like close to launch? I think there was also word that um, you know, the, the problems became less prevalent, uh, you know, preve prevalent as uh, time went on, but... I don't have to start the next world either, but could start the beginning part, like a certain game. Like prepare yourself for the next world. Yeah! I, I agree that it's nice to get ready for things. I think we'll open it. I don't know if we'll go to it yet. But we shall see. I always wondered if certain games made the Xbox 360 self-destruct over time and you just didn't happen to play those ones. My friends were big into like Halo 3 and well, certain things like that. I'm sure there's uh, you know some games that probably heat the thing up more, are more intensive on its components. What are you going to do when it goes over 500? Don't say such a thing! Don't even talk about that! <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's the question mark one, my favorite. No, oh, Got me good. Well, next try. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We started with one of the most interesting parts of Banjo-Kazooie, is the stop and swap stuff, and we're ending with one of the most <laughs> tedious, benign, like, ugh, parts of Banjo-Kazooie. And that's going into this building 500 times to unlock a cheat that <laughs> isn't the most important cheat in the game, but you'll always feel like you're missing something if you don't get this cheat, and you'll see why. So it is kind of like a thing that it's nice to get. Hey, red feathers. This level doesn't even have any flying in it. You know, red feather flying. I guess you do go into a spaceship at one point. Hey. All right, don't close up though. Let us keep trying. <laughs> 50 beatings, everybody. There you go. Ooh, we're getting low on health though. No, oh, stop it. I thought they were supposed to be homing eggs. Home in on him. There you go. I'm, I'm trying to read the chat and look at the same time. It never works well. Um, you don't know about you, but you would cry. It <laughs> says Black Frog. Uh, you're talking to the guy who played Russian Attack for like seven and a half hours straight. <laughs> Clearly, I can. I, I have too much patience. 1,000 says Daniel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. Knowing my luck, it probably will take another five hours. So get comfy. Find those projects that you need to get done and have this on in the background. And let's do our best. <laughs> He's friends with a bird too. Banjo is steel. Energy bar. Yeah. Oh, great, it closed. Wonderful. We should have kept Tally on, like, every single one. That would have been cool. I had hoped it would not take this long, so I didn't think, oh, yeah, you know, let's think a big project out of this. Um, but, you know, 
It would have been fascinating to see like what the most common thing is. It seems like, uh, oh man, it's weird how you get caught on that. And it takes away your Talon Trot. But yeah, it seems like egg refills are pretty common. Grenade eggs, fire eggs a lot we get. What can we see from up here? Anything interesting? That's the, like the most sightful spot. It's like a twig sticking up out of there. What if like shooting this twig with fire eggs was like the super secret Grant Kirkhope bonus room that you never knew about? No. All right, here we go again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Tootie is on a milk carton. Where is that milk carton? Um... RC Shaggy, Banjo Kazooie getting dark. But, uh, yeah, yeah. The Banjo's Banjo's sister's not not in, like this game at all, which is weird. I gotta have something interesting here somewhere. Something we can do. Um, not that. Not that. Hmm. Where is that? Uh. All right, let's see. So how's the voting going? What are people saying in regards to the voting? Um, now we still got 100 to 150 at 43%. Um, fortunately, we're a little past that now. Gold feathers. Energy bar. Extra eggs. Energy bar. Energy bar. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Um what can I unplug? I didn't plug I didn't plug my USB hub in. So I didn't think I was going to need any extra USB ports tonight, but if I do... This. You might not hear me for a second. Hopefully unplugging my microphone does not break the whole stream.
All right, can you hear me? That's the question. Let's see if OBS is just broken into a million pieces now. Um, all right, looks like the mic is working. We can play some NES now if um if we don't get it in the next couple minutes. Extra fire eggs. Whoa, we never got that one. All right, let me get the thing back up here. It's 170. Grenade eggs. I actually need those. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's more like it. Beating, I think, I need to add that. 175! Extra fire eggs. Extra grenade eggs. Oh, but she's not closing the door. We'd like to see that. Extra eggs again. Wow, she's... Get oh, there goes the door. Let's see what we got here. But yeah, um, you hear the Windows tune where if anything gets unplugged. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, RC Shaggy. Um, might be leaving a bit too. Yeah, I totally understand. Uh, I still like to... Yeah, I think we're going to do Nuts and Bolts next because um, I want to do the 3D games together. And also, what if there's anything that we want to do, like we need to do in Nuts and Bolts before the, the store closes down in a couple months. So I think it's probably best to do that one now. So that, you know, if the online functionality being shut down or whatever, the store being shut down hopefully doesn't interfere with anything. Get that out of the way. And then we'll probably play Grunty's Revenge at some point. It's not like it has to be played. Um, what's the text for on the screen, Fierce Deity? So, we are currently going in and out of this tent here. There's a 1 in 500 chance of uh, receiving a cheat code that you cannot get any way else. We've currently tried... Uh, 179 times. And 55 of those times have been beatings that reduce your health. People wanted me to... Specifically count the beatings. <laughs> and then she closes up again. All right, let me see here. Yeah, see, that was my thought process there, RC Shaggy. All right, what can I do? What can I do? Um. Do something like that. Cancel. Okay. All right, what if I go into here now? Here, here. He should work, right? Go back in. Extra grenade. Extra eggs. And then she closes up again. <laughs> I don't use much social media, but it doesn't surprise me if that's true. 
Exactly, yeah, that's the thing about the GBA game, is there's no, like, need to worry about something shutting down and affecting things in any sort of way. Where am I here? Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, where are you at? Oh, she's open again. <laughs> Extra X. The reason I'm not saying much in between things this time is because I'm trying to set something up for everyone. That's not what we're trying to do. Like, why does it have to show it when you're like just trying to get things ready? <laughs> Like I wanted, sh I wanted to show um, like the emulator window, but silly. <laughs> dumb OBS, you're so freaking dumb. But yeah, online services uh, gradually starting to, to shut down. Uh, Nintendo always seems to be the first to do it. And then, you know, Xbox is finally, it's uh, the store's time is finally coming. And I guess PlayStation will probably be at some point too. It's called OBS for a reason, right? Right? Let's see, so let's go back here, do this. Uh, where am I here? Ugh. Is that like a visible thing on screen now? <laughs> I'm curious. So we can play some Mario 1 while we wait for this to happen. <laughs> I've never done this before where I like play a game while I'm also playing a game. Oh, never mind. No time for Mario 1. Oh boy. Actually, how much health do we have? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, we have lots of health. Oh. Extra eggs. Red feathers.
<laughs> so the Kawabunga collection finally has both arcade. Interesting. Staircase trick in Mario 1. It's hard, but you know how to do it. Okay, let's see. Let's see, can I do this without breaking everything? So I'm going to show this. And I can come here and do this. All right, let's play Mario 1, everyone, with a keyboard. Does that sound okay? It's probably like really loud. Oh god, oh, the mouse is probably on screen. That's pretty great. This is my favorite part of Banjo Kazooie or 2 or whatever when we play Mario 1. I'm also looking at the screen on an angle, so get ready for that. In fact, this could probably be like way lowered. <laughs> All right, I will lower the volume of that because it's probably super loud. Oh, she's open again. Hey! Extra eggs. Hey! We're up to 193, everyone! Getting really close to 200 now. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo the poll if we get up there. Oh, we need health too. Oh, I think I meant four. Oh yeah, okay, so we really need to go get health now. Wow, the one time- oh, she does close, okay. Oh, okay. That's not enough. So yeah, what's everyone think then? If it's not gonna be before 200, I'm afraid. I am really afraid now just how long this is gonna go. Why couldn't this have been one of those epic moments where we get it on like our second try? It's probably gonna take all 500, isn't it? I'm really worried. Yeah, it could take more than 500. When it comes to me, RNG means nothing. Oh, that's exactly what we had. All right, I'm gonna go beat this guy up. Oh, look at that. Not something you see every day. And she's open again. Thank God you only needed to beat the Japanese version of Donkey Kong Arcade twice for the Nintendo coin. The US VAA version is much harder. Um, so in Donkey Kong 64, there's the arcade machine. You have to beat the whole thing, pie level included, on one life. To get the Nintendo coin. Are you saying it's different in the Japanese version? 250 says Daniel. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is terrible. This is just terrible. It, it's definitely random. But you know we could have we could have had it by now. Some people probably get it way earlier than this. I appreciate you all sticking around though. Hope you're having fun. Oh yeah, give me more of that. Oh god. Let me look at this. Mixer. Let's lower the volume of NES way down. Alright, here we go. Let me know how that sounds. Oh god, okay. I cannot play from an angle. Oh yeah, Mario 1. You can't go wrong with Mario 1. Anytime you're looking for something to kind of pass the time, doing a full playthrough of Mario 1. Be it without warp zones. How often do you even see like World 3 or World 7? Everyone skips those worlds. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna fail this jump, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Again, don't forget, I'm playing with the keyboard. I should have put my hub in and I could have plugged my, uh, my USB to NES controller in.
All right, one level in Mario 1 down. What will happen first? Do we beat Mario 1 or do we get the chief? This looks so square and wrong, says True Seed. I, I, I agree. I agree. Oh, not again. All right, that's 199. One more. You bet this kills 100% run, says Daniel. What is this pimp my Xbox? Yo, dog, I heard you like video games, so I put a video game in your video game. <laughs> oh. Alright, here we go. 1 2. Bet you've never seen this level before. It's been a long time since I've played a game with a keyboard. Whenever I was, uh, you know, Mario World hacking, I used to always play with just the keyboard. Then you have to pick up a controller every time. Okay, I was gonna be really- I didn't have a chance to do this yet. No, this. Text. Year. So that's 200, everyone. Red Feathers was 200. Not within 200. And another beating. <laughs> I should just put like a little window in the top with Mario. That way I don't have to, to close it every time. Because I don't want Mario to be on the screen if she says that we get the cheat. Because I want everyone to see that. Let me fix that. Let me put the window capture up here, maybe. I'll shrink it a bit. Put it up here. So that should be good next time. Otherwise, I need to, I guess, redo the poll, huh? And that's true, Afflicted. What, uh, what NES game do people want to see? Keep in mind I'm playing with the keyboard. <laughs> so if you want to see some, like, epic moves, it's not happening tonight. Um... I know, I hope I'm done soon too. Midnight PST though, oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't take another hour and, uh... Hour and 40 minutes. Didn't know Banjo had a hidden game! Yeah, what rare game? So of course you got the Battle Toads, Cobra Triangle, Marble Madness... Uh, Wheel of Fortune? You wanna play Wheel of Fortune? That'd be kinda funny. Red feathers. No. I do oh three. Pinball on NES. Oh. Oh, oh, I only have two health left. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Extra grenade eggs. Alright, two's enough, though. I'm not gonna run away for with two. Give me some health back. No. Ugh. Whoever at Rareware thought this was a good idea, you are evil. At least this one's an exclamation mark, so we should easily be able to get our stuff back. Alright, yeah, that's it. We're doing Wheel of Fortune. That's going to be funny. Uh, where am I here? Ah! <laughs> 
There you go. All right, but before that, oh, the music's still very loud. <laughs> oh, even if I close it. One second here. We need to do options. Where's the thing here? Timing video. Uh, that's the full screen, full screen, high mouse cursor, force access ratio. Uh, PY input, not play sound, time video. I just wanted to like stop playing when I. I thought that was in video. Oh, more options, maybe. One second. Run in background, no. There you go, that's what we're looking for. Okay, I think that I still need to add one more from the last time. Then we get some Wheel of Fortune going, heck yeah. The reason you won't want it to run in the background is because Wheel of Fortune is timed in like selecting a letter and such. That's exactly what I'm so happy that I just got to come back to. And she closes again. So that means I can just leave this open now. There you go. Just Breed. Uh, I have Just Breed for Famicom. Uh, OG. Is it a Super Famicom game as well? What do you miss, RC Shaggy? We're playing some Wheel of Fortune. That's what we're. That's what we're doing. All right. How many players? Let's just do our own. Mr. the computer. No. All right. Are you ready for Wheel of Fortune, everyone? Let me know how the volume sounds. Round one. Who can guess what the word is? Look at that. What a beautiful word. And again, this game is made by Rare, so it fits the theming. Alright, alright. Continent. Let's give it a good old R. It's a place. Third letter and the second last letter are R. Alright, time for Grunty again. I like how the that stays up there now, so you can all give it a guess. Got some red feathers going on. All right, let me get this back up here. Gold feathers. Anyone working on that uh, that wheel of fortune puzzle? We win a beating. Yes. Extra eggs. Oops. What was that? Seven? And she's close to that. Oops. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're spinning again. Need some more letters here. We can also buy a vowel. I feel like it has an A in it, maybe? H, F... Gotta have an S or a T, right? Oh, no S! There's really no penalty for it, though, because we're playing against ourselves. It's so fun that the computer gets all the fun. There's gotta be a T. No T?! What kind of crazy place is this? Herrera isn't a real place. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. 
What letter should I guess next? Some red feathers. Whoa. Energy bar. And it's closed again. D. D says David Ray. Ooh, we got a D. Hmm. Castera. <laughs> hey, well, it ends in D. With some R's, huh? It could be like something grad. <laughs> well, we can't even buy a vowel now because all our money was just robbed. So I'm, I'm going to pick G next and see what happens. Does the mouse show up on screen? I keep leaving it on there by accident. No G. Feeling an F? H? No, it's not H either. It's the most ridiculous place. P. You don't notice the mouse. Good to hear. Um, okay, so we got that. Pull this back up. All right. Gold feathers. How much health do I have? All right, we're good. <laughs> oh! Uh, SF just subscribed. Thank you. I <laughs> appreciate you sticking it through this uh, this stream of hilarity. Oops, that's not what we want. Where am I here? I want OBS back. This is OBS. Okay. I think that was a beating I needed to add to this counter. All right. Yay! Energy bar. Gold. Almost halfway to 500, everybody. Can we do it? Extra eggs. Red feathers. <laughs> Another beating. Two, two, two. With si That's our 69th beating, everybody. Give it up for beating number 69. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we came back to Wheel of Fortune, Max Howard. Yes, we got O's, 69. Nice. <laughs> All right. Spin that wheel. Max power. All right. Come on. Give me a good one. $1,000 billion. What do we got? What you know, We got E's? Well, I need to buy that. Oh, I guess I could have bought a vowel. P. L. No L's? All right, we're buying. We're buying. Uh... Oh, I have a free spin. When did that happen? N next. All right, N. Here comes N. Oh, another free spin. N. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right, Val, let's buy an E. Oh, all right, you guys can look at that for a second. <laughs> well, say goodbye to 69 beatings. See you again at 169. Oh, please don't tell me we get the 169.
barn. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Bunch of geniuses in the chat. That's a place? Isn't, isn't like, it's a thing? I guess it's a place. <laughs> now I'm getting all these free spins. I don't want them. Yeah, we can solve. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, I didn't have to spin. You don't need to get more money. We're not really too worried about that. All right, let's solve. Yay! Good job, everyone. All right, that was fun. <laughs> it's like rarewareception. We're playing rareware in rareware. Oh, good job, uh, good job, David Ray. All right, you guys can stew over that one for a minute while we get back to business here. <laughs> Stop. Hey, yeah, keep them coming. Can we go for three in a row? Oh. Eggs. All right, well, I need to unfortunately do this. That one hasn't been paying out lately. We've been needing uh, to rely on this guy. Ooh, that guy's not helping us either. Well, we're going on a journey then to get some HP back. There is always the honeycomb guy over here. If all else fails. He's, yeah, he even seems to respawn too, which those guys don't respawn in Banjo-Kazooie 1. Which means, you know, you can very easily end up in a situation where there's no more health pickups. Good enough. Bigfoot is real. <laughs> is that the puzzle? Is that going to be what the puzzle says? Ayers Rock. You don't think you've heard of the term barnyard, farmland, farm? Never barnyard, right? Yeah, barnyard's kind of a weird one. Well, could we talk to Jam Jars? We could. Well, we already learned that move, but like, there's no reason we can't talk to him again. When you're when you're just that bored that you got, that you talk to jam jars, even though you don't have to. Thirty-one, two thirty-one. Extra grenade eggs. Oh, seriously? All right, let's let's have a look at this puzzle. Mark's land. Okay, so we have some guesses. Landmark. Is Ayers Rock a real thing? Uh, where's my buttons here? It's not Mark's land. Okay, let's do R. Nope, no R. It's not a rock. Uh, we need some money before we can buy vowels. I don't think the money from the la from the last round counts. Ayers Rock is also known as Lou. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Take care. Appreciate everyone who's hanging around as long as you are. This is uh, this is crazy. <laughs> but I hope you have. I hope everyone has a great night. And Christian, uh, have a good one. But who knows? Maybe we will still be going when you get back. You never know. Oop, I mean, obviously there's an S door. All right. <laughs> Simple as that. Wow, the time that we're gonna have like playtime for this level is gonna be insane. <laughs> Black Frog, <laughs> have a good one. Thanks everyone who stuck around. This has become a really silly stream, but uh, I can't believe it. Don't worry though. That means we never have to do this again. So you'll be you know free next time to, to not have to worry about it. No L. This is a clear sign I should never ever go on Wheel of Fortune. 
You probably did not get this cheat in your childhood. I really hope it's not like different in the 360 version. That would be terrible. It's not- it's not Mark's Rock. We can now confirm that. But Mark- Oh, ha, Mark! I guess I could have used that, uh, the money we got from the S to buy a vowel. What vowel should we buy? What vowel does everyone like? Oh, we can't even buy a vowel. Weird. Okay, uh, ugh. Here we go. Alright, so far not making much progress on Wheel of Fortune. Maybe we should be playing the junior version instead. Maybe that's more my more my style. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's uh that was like two I just did there, right? Oh, E is the most common English letter. Sounds good, but yeah, it wouldn't let me buy anything. Oh, I pressed uh, I pressed A on the Xbox 360 controller to play Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Playing two games at once is, is crazy. Hey, well, I can't do A right now. P, V, like, I can't believe none of these letters are in there. A is for apple. Let's go through the whole alphabet. How are none of these letters in there? Yeah, this this cheat is more difficult than Silver Surfer. It really is. All right, P. There's got to be a P. All right, P. P's P. We now have enough le uh, money for a vowel, so we're definitely buying a E. Good luck with that one. All right. Another one. Alright, we got two health left. Oh, and it's closed. But we gotta go refill. No opportunity for more hilarious Wheel of Fortune shenanigans. Yeah, that's what we want to see. The exclamation mark. Please give me that. Alright, what are people's thoughts on the puzzle? Is <laughs> people still not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, this is taking too long. It's getting too late. Well, like, what could P... C? No? P W? P E D like, I don't, I don't know. Like a Q? F? B. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Yeah. And there you go. Try a K. All right, David Ray. Let's do it. For a thousand dollars, it better be right. Oh, Peak. Okay, yeah, Peak makes a lot of sense. Pike's Peak. It's probably Pike's Peak. I'm gonna solve and try that. Yeah! <laughs> the P was key. Once we got the P, it was all, all good from there. All right. Should have seen that coming. All right, it's the speed up round, where you're like uh, you don't spin anymore. You just kind of pick letters, just like Starbucks. 
All right, we're gonna do R S T L N E like always. Oh, not quite yet. It's a it's a person this time. That's a long name. You win some. Oh darn it! I don't know why I got hyped for that all of a sudden. Energy bar refill. She hasn't closed up shop yet, though. <laughs> so as long as she doesn't do that. Oh. Yeah, so everyone who voted 200 plus is uh, laughing pretty well right now. This is taking a while. I didn't think it would take this long. I, I, oh, I think that's three beatings in a row. I am shocked how long this is taking. Radio operator says true seed. Go to 300 call tonight. Well, I mean, we're here now. I can't stop now. He'll do a 24. Exactly, exactly. Welcome, Afflicted. Hope you're having a great night. Um, what am I doing here? All right. Radio operators, you want to try an R? Actually, we tried R already. No P. Oh, we got an S. We don't want to solve. No! I said B, not A. Person doesn't mean name. Proper name is separate. Oh, interesting. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> David Ray. So, da yeah, it won't save the stream. It will let you stream, but yeah, we learned it won't, uh, it won't save it. Alright. Everyone think this one over when we go back into the dungeon here. I think I'm down to two health though, it's kinda scary. Like she's been she's been vicious these last few tries. She's just like beating after beating. Like there it is again! And well I can't go in with one health, so I guess we gotta take a break. Not with that guy. And it's an exclamation mark. We'd like to see it. Any guesses on the name? On the person, rather. Try an O. Yeah, do I have money? I guess I can buy a vowel now. All right, Max Howard. Thank you. Have a good one. Don't forget this is the NES game. It's possible there's not, like... As specific and accurate as uh, as the modern game. Fifty. All right, we're halfway, everyone. The five hundred. There you go. <laughs> it just keeps happening. And then she closes up. 
<laughs> Jake, John Jacob Giovanni. <laughs> but that's a song from something, right? Andrew Caldenson. Andrew doesn't fit. All right, what else can we do? What letters everyone like? D, B, L. No L. Uh, let's do a B. No, no B. It's something sun. Something sun. It's, you don't think it's not Jackson? That can't be Jackson. But remember, you have to think these are people that would have been relevant back in like the 80s. Um, okay, yeah, I think I have the money for an O now. So next time it lets me buy a vowel. Oh, oh, that's right, you don't have to buy vowels in this round. Okay, so there, there's the one very obvious O. You win some red feathers, yeah. And she closes again. Yeah, I know I've heard it, yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay. Probably a C, right? Let's do a C. Alright. Markinson. <laughs> it's not Mark. I will do an M though. No M. D. Dixon. Dixon? Dick Dickinson. Oh, oh, something Dickinson. Who's that? Who's that writer guy? Who's that? Like, there's obviously. Like, see, I I thought Emily too, but it's not. It's not E-M, it's it's not M, it's it's N. You can't think straight anymore. <laughs> How do you think I feel? But again, remember, you need to be thinking 1980s. Energy bar refill, yeah. 255. Give it up for one bite. How much health am I even at? That's getting down there. Extra fire eggs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh God. Okay. More like 1880s. Who could it be? Who could it be? Like E something N I? N N N kind of name Angie. Oh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Isn't it funny how names go like out of style? Like, do you see, do you find many people named Andrew anymore? Like my parents' names, no one has those names anymore. And my grandparents' names, holy crap, no one's probably been named that in like 50 years. So it's funny how you know names kind of kind of disappear like that. All right, pr everyone, we're going for the bonus round. What prize does everybody like? Oh, this will be a discussion for another day. Back to the grind. Extra eggs. <laughs> Close to 300, right? Okay, here we go. So, do you guys want to go for the car, the motorboat, the deluxe kitchen? Ski Holiday, Bedroom Suite, Dream Vacation to Hawaii. 
And uh, those are our options of what to try and win in the bonus round. The Porsche. Crisis X2 Lite, welcome. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying the, the really weird stream. I usually go for the Porsche too. Can't uh, can't go wrong with that, right? RC Shaggy, thanks for thanks for sticking it out. Hope you have an excellent night. Take care. Ma KCC, oh your name is uh, my name. Mark is always around. True, yes. Yeah, some names uh, stick around forever. Um, it doesn't change the ending in any way. Just. Uh, you know, if you, if you lose or like you win, you know, you have to feel good. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Nah, 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 nah. Porsche time. All right, so you can all. We need to pick our our four consonants in the vowel. Place your opinions for those. Full feathers. Extra grenade eggs. Extra fire eggs. Yeah, there you go. I hate this one because I have to like change two numbers instead of just one. Almost up to a hundred beatings ever. The beating number has really been climbing. It wasn't this bad, and we've gotten like 30 beatings in the last 10 minutes. Like the beating number used to be less than a third. It is now significantly more than that. And of course, because we even beat so much, we can't just keep trying. Now I got, oh, there you go. That's what we like. <laughs> feathers. Gold feathers. The whole feather family here. So yeah, they introduced new eggs in this game, but no new feathers. Wonder what they could have come up with for something like that. 269. And the old classic. She's staying open a long time this time. Oh, feathers again. I'm happy I kept the counter. The, the counter kind of keeps you in the realm of sanity. Otherwise, we'd be being like, oh my gosh, it must have been 500 by now. Nope. All right, what's everyone's guesses for the for the puzzle here? Rosy the Gent, R S T L N E afflicted. That's the classic. How many consonants do we get to choose? Five consonants. Okay, let's choose the classic then. It's, it's stressful with the time limit. Don't accidentally pick the wrong one. All right, what's everyone's thinking about this? Let title. Something and Jess? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna take focus away so we can just kind of think about this one for a second. What do you think it could be? And, and mess. Like obviously it's and something and a title, huh? You're a Viacom property, Diego? Let me see. What are people saying? Grunty's getting tired too. And Ness. <laughs> Lucas and Ness. That was. It's funny because it fits. It actually fits. 
but uh, something tells me it's not the answer. I think that's the same voice clip used during the fi final battle of the fifth game. First game. I wish there was five. Oh, inter interesting crisis. Very cool. Okay, so what are you all thinking? Um, again, I'm just going to keep that frozen until uh, until we have a good answer for it. Something and Jess. Something and Jess. Yeah, the R's in the middle of the first word. Um, Ness, Jess, Mess, Less, Less. Hmm. Carrie and Bess. First word's only five letters, though. A. So we can't guess any more letters. You have 40 seconds now with the letters that are there to get the answer. Porgy and Bess. You cheated and looked it up. You want your Porsche don't judge me afflicted. All right, if that's true, I'll enter it right after this. Porgy, though? Never heard of that. Again, it's funny how it almost does sound like Earthbound. Red feathers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. Oh. Almost at 300, everybody. And the health just keeps going down. Can we get two in a row on that? Ooh, red feathers. Nope. Oh. Alright, well, I gotta go refill. Oh, okay. You see, the weird bounce that they do... It's weird. The original game, they just kind of nicely stay on the floor. Right. Oh, this one's better. Much better. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Apparently, it's an American opera from the 1930s. Like, who's gonna know that? Who's gonna know that? Oh, hello, Noah. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a nice night. It's by George Gershwin. There you go. No, that's great. You know, if people know that, then that's awesome. I've never personally heard of it. Um, oh, okay, we got some more tries here. I know the suspense is killing everyone. I want that Porsche, too. Oh. Keep them coming, like, I, like the 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 the, the, uh, the frequency of the beatings has significantly increased in the last 15-20 minutes. Significantly increased. We're almost at 100 beatings, 100 health removed. That's like 14 deaths worth of health. <laughs> you know, you guys are funny. Mega Man and Bess. <laughs> That's good, Diego. That's good. All right, Porgy and Bess. I'm going to do it. Porgy and Bess. You don't get much time. P-O-R-G-Y-A-N. This better be right. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh no, no, I screwed up. And... Oh. Yeah, you don't have to re-enter the letters that are there, but you get you get panicked. There's not much time. There you go, everyone. There you go. We did it, everyone. Good teamwork. <laughs> Should we do another round? <laughs> How many rounds of Wheel of Fortune can we do? Before we're done with this insanity. Stop! Stop, Grunty! You an extra fire egg. Gold feathers. There. One hundred beatings, everybody. Like she's not even handing out free health anymore. It's just all pain all the time. Like we don't need fire eggs. If only you could use the gold feathers to not take a beating. Oh. Oh. We only have one health, so... There goes that. But good job, everyone, winning that Porsche! I guess we should go back and maybe we should try to win some of the other prizes. What do you feel, like a dream vacation to Hawaii? Or a jet ski? Or no, it was a motorboat. We got options, though. We got options. <laughs> Worth it, says Afflicted. Yeah, thank you, David Ray. I'm trying to keep my, my best eye on that. There you go. We won a fabulous prize. And that's it. That's the entire game. You paid 60 bucks just for that. Good voice clipping, though. Um, okay, one player... No. Congratulations on the beating, says Daniel. Dream vacation to Andrew's game room, Diego. Alright, you guys can look at that when we get back to this. Fire eggs. <laughs> In terms of my game room, I think it's been pretty sufficiently su surpassed on YouTube these days. There was a time when it was like the biggest game room around. But I think there's probably been some more impressive game tour since my original one in 2012. Of course, I did do the more recent one in 2021, so feel free to check that one out if you want a little more of a recent interpretation. But yeah, game gaming tours, there's a lot of them out there now, and some people have some really nice rooms. All right, and it's closed. <laughs> so my name's Ah now, yep. That's a new thing I'm going with. Porsche in Hawaii. That's what it's all about. Afflicted. Yeah, right? That's what we're going for. Okay, here we go. This could be a lot of things. Title. Another title. Hope you have your 1930s opera knowledge ready. 250. Gotta be an R. Alright, we got two R's. Christian, welcome back. <laughs> we're approaching 300 now. 
It's, it's ah, because I'm screaming internally. If only you knew. <clears throat> okay, 1,000. Oh, we got ends. <clears throat> Can it please be the title of something I've actually heard of? Any letter guesses, everyone? Don't be shy. Whoa, free spin time. After we guess our next letter, get back to Grunty there. What do you feel on T? There's got to be a T. One T. Energy bar refill. That's a rare thing to see these days. I mean, that's a good sign. Gold feathers. Officially over 300 now, everybody. Eggs. I mean, she's being a little nicer right now than she had been, so that's good to see. <laughs> Hurry up with that puzzle. <laughs> it's almost time for you. Oh, God. Okay. I'm feeling an O. How do people feel about O? One O. I mean, I kind of felt like that was where an O was going to be, so that was kind of useless. We still got uh, money here. Yeah, we got one A. Inspector General we got. Very nice, True Seed. Very nice. Assuming it's correct. Very nice. <laughs> No S in that puzzle. Oh, actually, there was. Yeah, no. Yeah, there was one, there was one S. There you go. This is fun. Good teamwork, everyone. Right. Can we play Hungry Hungry Hippos next? If there was an NES version of that, then yes. 302 Red Feathers. Rio 3 is gold feathers. Cheating is only allowed on, allowed on the on the final round for sure. I want that trip just like I wanted that Porsche. And we gotta share it uh, like ten ways somehow. We can each borrow the Porsche on one day of the ten day week. Oh. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it, Super Tom Brother! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I have no doubt this is an accurate representation of hell. Puzzles, beatings for all eternity, says Diego. Oh, we got two R's. Jerry Springer? I think it's Jerry Springer? No, there's no SPR. No, it can't be. We'll do a J next, though, just in case it is Jerry. It could be Terry, Jerry, Larry. There's actually lots of possibilities now that I think about it. It's not Jerry. Was Jerry Springer even a thing in the 80s? I have no idea how far back he goes. Okay. All right, we've got good health. Oh, feathers. What time do we have? Oh, man, we're after 2 p.m. 2 a.m. <laughs> 2 a.m. Not p.m. Yeah. And she's closed. Hello, Jackson. Welcome to Banjo Tooie meets uh, Wheel of Fortune. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. I like it. Could be a Harry, though. Terry Zookeeper says Trucy. Man, we got lots of free spins in this game. Except, like, you know, we're playing on our own, so we don't need them, but. 
Hey, you want to try an H for Harry? All right. It's not the not Harry from Home Alone. In fact, I don't think Home Alone was out yet. It's very late for absolutely no reason, Jackson. This will end up being longer than my uh than my Mario Wonder stream. The end is gonna get cut off again. Oh. Harry Potter is a fun Lego game. Harry Potter. Yeah, I've beat uh, Harry Potter one and two on the GameCube. They're they're fine games. I beat the one of the ones on the um. What could the first one be? Larry. No, it's still. Well, we still have not figured out the first name. Yeah, Harry Potter games can be fun. I've only played the earlier year ones though. I'm curious how the later games might be when the series got like extremely dark for some reason. Old feathers. Extra grenade. Again, please tell me it's not glitched in the, uh, in the Xbox version. I haven't heard of such a thing, but nothing would surprise me at this point. Oh. No. Oh. How many, how much health? I don't think we had any beatings that time, which is pretty good. Alright, we had lots of health. Barry. Oh, it could be Barry. Boomer Bear, is that you? Have I ever played Super Mario Sunshine? I love Mario Sunshine. Uh, I most recently 100%ed it in 2020, I think. Well, I was imagining of all the wonderful places I, you know, I wasn't able to take vacation. I decided to take a virtual vacation through Mario Sunshine. Um, let's do an A. All right, a couple of A's. So it's definitely Barry something. Do I know any Berries, like, person-wise? <laughs> Another name you don't hear much anymore. Barry... Flatulator. No. Yeah, why? So why is not considered a vowel in... Uh, Wheel of Fortune, you can guess it any time. So let's do that. Alright, we got a whole one Y going on there. Larry Berry Escalator. Extra fire eggs. Alright. Haven't had one of those in a while. Oh, that's it. Jackson, gotta go to bed, but you'll finish watching. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, Jackson. Hope you have a great night. What do we got? 400. What's anyone want to guess? N? No N. Berry Polluter. Oh no, not miss a term when I'm the only person playing. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Buy an O. I will. Um, no M. Alright, we're buying an O. Got one O. So it's not Tor. Could be Tur. We'll have to get back to that. Red feathers. We're exactly 200 tries over beatings. You know, they're separated by 200. 
Exactly. And another one. They were gone for a while, but they're back. She's back in the in the beating mood, it seems. Famous. Oh, let me see here. Barry, Cole. Is that is that true? Barry Goldwater says David Ray. <laughs> These answers are even outdated in the 80s. This game sucks. Like, yes. I, I have no idea what Rare was thinking. <laughs> but Goldwater. Let me see. That makes sense. Good job, though. Good job. <laughs> all right, I'll let you all see the next puzzle, and then it's back to the back to the grind. Don't worry, RuneScape prepared me for this day. Oh, it's the it's the speed round, so they only spin once. All right, it's an event, everyone. I think that's a that's a category we haven't seen. What kind of events do you think they've got? <laughs> no, in this game, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like, <laughs> it's gonna be some the meteor hitting the dinosaurs or something. How long ago this uh, game seems to be taken from? The Big Bang. It's probably that. Fire eggs. Camel Watcher. <laughs> Your Xbox is going to red ring before you... I was worried about that, Diego. Um, fingers crossed it doesn't, but we'll see. All right, what kind of event do you guys all think this is? S. Super birthday. Uh, happy birthday. No. The birthday doesn't fit. Man, they made sure that all of the puzzles don't have any of, like, the common letters. Finally! All right, you guys got a D to work with. What do you think it is? Sandy, shady, sad. Now as an adult, a Switch is a game console. Your kid, you didn't want one, especially. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I need to stop reading comments. I'm not reading comments anymore. All right, extra fire eggs. That'll, that'll take the heat off. Energy bar refill. Fire eggs. eggs. Ugh. You'll read them and you'll love it, says Mockery CC. Alright, let's figure this one out. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. T. I'm gonna do a T. One T. Feet. Meat. Meeting. Oh, meeting. 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 Uh. 
not daily meeting. Like, a meeting is an event? Do you really think? It's definitely meeting. Boring meeting. Radical meeting. Long meeting. Ladle meeting. Lumpy meeting. I don't know. Red feathers. Lodge meeting? I've never heard of a lodge meeting in my life. Oh, like, like, like the ones from the Red Green show? That sort of thing? Okay, maybe then. Maybe. That's probably the most Canadian thing I've probably ever said on this channel. The Red freaking Green show. Remember, duct tape can solve any problem. Oh, it's like the lodge from the Flintstones. Yeah, there's one too. That's another one. It's the the, the stone buffaloes or whatever. The water buffaloes. Yes. Yes, the red green show afflicted. Yes. Trucy, all credit on that one. Thank you. Thank you, Trucy. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, new prize. Like, this is the most confusing question. Like, new prize. It should. Like, oh, so, yes. So we're doing Hawaii, right? That was the agreement. We're going to take our Porsche to Hawaii. Just drive it across the bridge to Hawaii. All right, let's see. You win extra eggs. Three, 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 everyone. And that's that. The red green show was just plain weird. Yeah, I don't deny it was... A funky show. No, 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 not new prize. Hawaii, here we go. All right. Like, look how long, if you watch Wheel of Fortune today, they don't make the final puzzle freaking three paragraphs long. That was pretty nice though. The junior version has a vacation to Disneyland Super Tombow. That sounds cool. You're never too old for like Disneyland or Universal Studios. Look at that word. Oh, something states. Place. Something states. Where's my thing here? What could that be? Hmm. Want an energy bar? Refill. At this point, I just want an energy bar. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's everyone thinking for the puzzle? Like, states. You hear the word states and all I can think of is, uh, United States. Atlantic states. Huh. Uh, yeah, I see the uh, I see Atlantic states. Hmm. Um. Gentle, <laughs> gentle fits. Gentle Atlantic states. No. Mm. I like the Atlantic though. Atlantic, Atlantic. Atlantic would be on the East Coast, right? Assuming it's in the U.S. at all. Okay. 
Extra grenade eggs. Extra fire eggs. Never seen that one. Whoa! Twice in a row. Middle! Oh, that's great! Middle! Well done, Super Tom Brother. Well done. Christ is gonna go get some ice cream. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Old feathers. Alright, Hawaii, here we come. Almost at 400, everyone. We're working our way there. Red feathers. Like, again, why they thought the percentage being so high? Like, even 1 in 100 would be acceptable. Like, that would be enough to get your, you know, your fill of this attraction. 500 is nuts. And, you know... This cheat does relate to something that is tangible within the game. Like, you will know you're missing it if you don't get it. And you will understand why when we eventually do get it. So it's not just like some arbitrary ha-ha thing. Like, you know, it's something that's kind of nice to have. So it's, in it's insane what they did. David Ray, I really hope. We haven't done it 500 times yet, so... If we do it more, if we do it 500 and we haven't gotten it yet, I'll be really scared. <laughs> oh, banana splits are awesome, uh, KCC, yes. No, true C, that's not true. That's not true. One in 1,000, Daniel. It does have it. Thank you, Diego. Thank you. All right. Um, M... They could have given you a little longer. Just in case you screw up. Good job. Very nicely done. Alright, Porsche is going to Hawaii. There you go. There you go. So at least the Middle Atlantic states are something that actually existed when this game came out. Oh, that's that. Commander Keen, oh, that would have been awesome on the NES. I've played it a, a little bit. But yeah, it probably deserves a full playthrough someday. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> I would visit Grunty's tent like 500 times. Alright, everyone. Here we go. I should have been doing like another letter every time. Like, we, okay. This time we'll do B, 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 B. True seed stop. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay, a person with only a three letter first word. Man, I cannot catch a break tonight. Even in a game of Wheel of Fortune against myself, I cannot catch a break. You know, I got, I got so lucky last night that I'm paying for it tonight. That's probably what's happening. No one beats uh, Silver Surfer that easy and gets away with it. No tea. I thought maybe it was like pad or something. <laughs> one, one, one beatings.
350. I just can't believe it though. I was I thought maybe it would take like a hundred tries ish. But this is crazy. This game was never made with streaming in mind, on obviously. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Diego, exactly. <laughs> True seed, you're so evil! Um, oh, red skeleton, you think? Red skeleton? That's a, that'd be very odd if it was. Mitt Romney? Yeah, I mean, there's, it's funny, there's, there's possibilities for sure, right? Actually, I think I did T, right? There's no T. <laughs> um, and we'll do an R. It's not Red Skeleton, but we do have a letter now. I think it ends with a Y. I, I'm gonna do Y. You were thinking 200, Daniel. I would have taken that. No Y. Thought maybe it would end with one. Could be like, hmm. oh, and and I guess that's why you had strategy guides back in the day. Did did True Seed get it? Oh yeah, so it's not uh, <laughs> it wasn't Red Skeleton, but I like the guess. I like it. Is a uh... yeah, I don't know who that is. All right, beating time. How much health am I at? Uh oh. 3.56! Red feathers. 3.57. Oh, and it's closed. Oh, it's two T's, David Ray. Landers. And Landers. I feel like... Yeah, I've heard that somewhere before. There we go. Actually, I should have solved. <laughs> I don't know why I always think I have to spin. Uh, we'll do an elbow. Very nice. Wow. Good job, True Seed. Um, so. Right? Wow. Very nice. You wonder if the answer was a Nintendo Power Pack today. I don't think there was ever like a whole list of solutions for this game. Oh, we got another place, everybody. Twin Peaks or whatever it was last time. Extra eggs. No. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the snow that uh, we got yesterday. It was crazy. Molson Tower. Oh, it's not Tower. I like that though. I really like that. Sears Tower? But I mean, it's not Tower now, we know. Um, it could be like Place. Something Place. I'll do a P. Well, it's not the first letter. Um, s hmm. What goes before a P? 
I'm not L, obviously. I've just picked L. Like, I guess, you know, Val will probably become good for it. Oh, there you go. Spark. Something. Extra eggs. Oh, it closed again? Outer space? Oh, it doesn't fit the top one, though. I like it, though. I like it. There could be something space, though. No, it's not space. Try, uh, yeah, we did S now. Undisclosed location. Noah says Willis. Oh, Willis Tower. Interesting. Mmm. S P N. Spoon? Oh, a place. You're back with chocolate truffle ice cream crisis. Uh, that sounds amazing. I hope, uh, hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're having a nice night. Oh, Spain! It's probably something in Spain. Madrid? Alright, we got grenade eggs. And the uh, classic. I didn't have two health after that one. Madrid, Spain! Yeah! Did I actually get one? Awesome. Thought of spoon just before I said it. You're watching on your phone. Now so that square is extra tiny, says Afflicted. Is 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 Madrid M-A-D-R-I-D? Or is there a Y in there? I don't know, I feel like there's a Y. Wait, did I pick vowel or solve? I meant solve. Whoops, wasting money, everyone. Sorry about that. Oh, it is an eye. There you go. Very nice. Never know what this latest, uh, this latest uh, Wheel of Fortune puzzle is. <laughs> it's done. It is done. How long did that take? How long did that take? Four and a half hours in this level, and we weren't even at two when we started that. So that was a good like three hours spent just uh, trying to get that cheat. Don't forget what it is now. I'm not doing that again. I should probably take the uh, the Wheel of Fortune away. But yeah, 115 beatings, 363 tries in the tent, and nearly three games of Wheel of Fortune for that. There you go. We're done. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around. Oh, you can have my freaking fries. I don't care. I really appreciate everyone sticking around, and I hope the Wheel of Fortune kept it interesting. Good job, everyone. You're all very intelligent and very smart. 
figuring out those names from like the 1930s. But now to wrap tonight up, we're gonna go uh, trade our Cheeto pages in for another cheat. Go enter both of those, open up level four, and then that's where we'll end off. Where am I going here? Over here. I can't walk straight after all that. My feet are asleep. <laughs> Super Tom, brother. No, the, the, the NES game show games. Game show themed video games are funny. I, I enjoy them for what they are. Not enough to pay like full price for them, but you know, just pop in like a retro version or something. It's good enough. As long as you know names from the 1930s. All right, it's Cheeto time. So this one should be eggs, hopefully. Yes, it is so nice to be able to carry up to like 50 grenade eggs and such. Yeah, you use eggs in this game a lot more than feathers. But all right, yeah, it's not enough to just learn it from him. We gotta go enter it in that wall along with Get Jiggy. Do we have any guesses for what Get Jiggy does? Very likely people already know. Um, <laughs> you, may, you may feel once you find out what it does that it was not worth the three hours spent unlocking it. But uh, that's in the past now, so nothing, uh, nothing can be done. Ma KCC, so yeah, again, Castle of Illusion, that's uh, that's the Mickey Mouse game on like the Genesis, right? I haven't played too much of it. I'm not against playing more of it someday though. Oh man, I cannot feel my left foot, that's weird. It is on the floor, but yet I can't even feel it on the floor. Ah. No, I don't, says Diego. Uh, what do we got here? Let's do this. Again, there's probably not even any faster than just running here from the entrance, but we do it for some reason anyway. I don't know why they put the hole for taking Stony in there. Like, is there ever any reason to do that? All right, here we go. Why they put enemies in here, I don't know. I mean, I guess there was an enemy in the sandcastle as well. Ah, finally. Oh, the Master System version's better. Interesting. All right, everyone. What was the cheat? I don't remember. No, it was... Get... Busy. No, it was Jiggy. You can shoot these guys, I think, too. There you go. Take that. Get out of my code chamber. Where's the G? Over right here. Not again. I don't have the precision to do this after all that. With the 360 controller. <laughs> oh, God. All right, everyone. Get ready for another three hours of this. So all this does is in the temple where we take the, the Jiggies to to open up new levels, there were signposts that you could not read. This allows you to now read signposts. We spent three hours going in and out of that tent so that we could read. <laughs> I don't even remember what the posts say. I think they're hints for some of the Jiggies. Um, so... We will find out now what they say, and it better have been worth it. It's like that warp pad is like so close to the entrance anyway. It's almost kind of pointless. But yeah, Ma KCC and Christian, thank you for the millions of G's. We did it. And next time we can actually play the game. Like it, I think we spent longer doing that than actually. Uh, 
you know, playing. <laughs> but here we go. Let's go experience the uh, fruits of our efforts here. See all those question mark signs? Wasn't it just bugging you inside what they said? Well, now we can find out. Behold the Jiggy Secrets of Mayhem Temple that we already found all the Jiggies in. Oh. So this just lists them all, even though the game provides you with a list anyway? I, don't re I didn't remember it listing them like this. Do they all- is, are they all just lists? Like, this is literally something we can access at any time by pressing start and checking the list. I thought it was more, like, telling you cryptic things, but maybe, maybe I'm just remembering that wrong and this is what it always said. Wow. We spent all that time to unlock something that the Xbox 360 version gives you by default anyway. Mr. Patch, Balloon Burst, Hoop Hurry, D Dodge em Dome, Saucer of Peril, right top of the Dive of Death board. Yeah, so we didn't do the return the kids to, to Ms. Boggy yet. And should I read the other ones? Should we spoil all the future levels? Can you read for like a future level? We know we're doing this one tomorrow. Oh, it will tell you levels that you haven't even done yet. Alright, so we won't read the rest of them. But um, maybe we'll read them like as we play those levels. But that's it! That's it! <sighs> All that time spent for that. The cheat code of infinite pointlessness says true seed. Worth it, we got, a, yeah, we got a Porsche and a trip to Hawaii. That was pretty rad. I don't think we can complain too much about that. And yeah, to finish off tonight, let's just get this done while we're here so we don't have to come back to, uh, you know, next week. And we can get right to the action. We can probably even unlock like two or three more levels. So let's just get them done. This reminds you of the fake code in Tomb Raider 2. I want to play more Tomb Raider. Did the signpost say something good at least, Diego? Well, uh, I guess not. Again, I can't believe that that's just a feature that they added in by default to the 360 version. Like, everyone remembers, right? That uh, you can go to the options in this version and just read those lists. I did not remember that they were exactly the same as what's given there. No, we did win Hawaii! Because we won two games, remember? I'm sure we won Hawaii. There's a back area, Christian? A back area to what? Alright, I guess we'll be doing another challenge here. We needed 20 and we already have 31. We'll probably even be able to do another one after this. Just get these done. You get so much time. Like, when it's not a full puzzle, it's very simple. So yeah, spoiling this level, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, nice true seed. There's a back area, Andrew. Christian, I, I'm very dumb. <laughs> it's very late. I need specifics. <laughs> I need you to be specific, I'm sorry. Behind the Jiggy Man, there's a back area? I'll have to check, thank you. Uh-oh, spoiling things we haven't seen yet! That's right, blow those teeth right off! And I'm guessing we can probably even do one more puzzle. Is when people want there to be a... Oh, oh, really? 
<laughs> That's amazing, Super Tom, brother. That is actually awesome. Well, it's getting a little more complicated here. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Now, here's the puzzle for my favorite level. And at the rate we're going, this uh, this level will be about, like, five months from now. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think um, we should have any more trouble with codes. Maybe we can get two levels done next time. Maybe. No promises. We'll try. But still, appreciate all of you hanging around. Hope you had fun. Hope, the, hope I was able to make it a little bit entertaining with what we did there. Nothing like a good game show to spice things up. But I will check that out, Christian, behind the Jiggy Man. But not until after we watch this cutscene. Considering these cutscenes are the same every time, they're probably gonna get like copyright claims. In Quagmire! Wow, this this the one level that actually has a sign above it saying what it is. Soon, Renty Industries, soon. <laughs> I love when things just explode as they get blasted with this laser. Uh, they are Super Tom. Is in, in Banjo Kazooie 1, I think it starts right off the bat, it's the full puzzle. Um, where in this one, it starts with, like, just, uh, you know, a few pieces missing. Plus, you don't have to turn the pieces yet. Wait, we need 36 for the next one. Something behind the Jiggy Man? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Did I know that? Whoa! Okay. Have you looked on the roof of the red... Like, there's literally no way to miss that treble clef on top of the Red Ginger's house. So that's the most useless cheat ever. Or secret ever. Witchy world is where fortune may smile upon you. We literally just spent three hours doing that. An egg container followed by... An egg container followed by jingling? What does that one mean? But I don't know if I've ever been back here. Whoa, I'm learning things about Banjo-Tooie I never knew. Thank you, Christian. I mean, that was kind of useless, but it was awesome. Whoa. Well, thank you again. <laughs> More signposts, right? <laughs> Everyone's favorite feature. So just to confirm. Actually, that's funny too. You know, you get kicked out until you have enough uh, jiggies to go back in there. So we can't even go back and experience that again if we wanted to. Um, help and options. Will it do the list for even this area? Reinstall extras. Interesting. Was it how to play? Oh, it, it tells you ice eggs. We, we haven't even unlocked that yet. <laughs> Spoiling the freaking game! Well, it only goes down to levels that you've reached, though. Oh, oh, uh, actually, so maybe that was the thing. Maybe when I go back down to Mayhem Temple. No. Oh, so, okay, it lists the moves that you learn. Which is funny, okay, so, yeah, it's spoiling moves we're gonna learn in. Controls. No, it's not what we're looking for. No. So, just let me run into... In case you missed it in the last stream, I just wanna... wanna show you all what I'm talking about. If we run into Mayhem Temple here... There should be a new option that appears in the options screen. Yeah, Jiggy Tips. So you can just go into a level and read the exact list of those signposts that we spent three hours unlocking in the Xbox 360 version. They just give them to you for free so you don't have to do that. Oh man, that's crazy. Now the secret grotto of pointlessness says True Seed. If anyone wants to Confirm what that uh, third sign was referring to. It's probably something we already got. Do you ever play Jumpstart on PC in the 90s? Jumpstart? Jumpstart? It rings a bell. Don't, uh, can't confirm that though. Basically you unlocked Cranky Kong style hints that you don't need, says Super Tom Brother. I'm done. <laughs> After five and a half hours. I hope you all enjoyed that crazy stream. Oh, I can't wait to, to do the timestamps for that. 
Um, people are going to be like, what the heck happened in this stream that he only beat one level, but played for five and a half hours. But thank you all. Hope you enjoyed Wheel of Fortune and, uh, you know, the, the like, 2% of the stream that was actually Banjo-Tooie. And I'll see you all next week for another episode of this where we hopefully do more. And uh, no doubt other streams before then as well. <laughs> Diego. Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. I thought the sign said something better than that. I completely forgot. I, I knew they were like about secrets in the levels, but I didn't realize it was just the lists that we already had. Whoops! But until next time, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great night and take care. Yeah, uh, David Ray, keep an eye out on the Discord uh, if you're in there. Um, that's always the best place to keep up to date on what my thoughts are in regards to the streaming, but... Um, and otherwise, have a great night, everyone. It should have been my April Fool's Day stream. Ugh. I can't believe it took that long. I really can't. I'm excited to get into bed, so good night. <laughs>